Welcome to the Eurocentrist podcast, where we talk about history that I didn't know about, but this motherfucker definitely <laughs> does. Um, we have a guest here today. I've been visited. We're visited by a fellow American, um, so that I don't feel as dumb for not knowing anything. Because I, well, you might know this as well. I don't know what this is going to be. I'm not going to assume. The good news is, is I probably know mm -hmm. a okay. little less about history than you. <laughs> okay. So yes, I'm just like that's the thing is if people ask me like, well, I I don't understand why you like history. And it's if you, if you think about history as just like gossip. From a different century, it makes it a lot easier, I think, to to like have fun with it because then you're just like I don't know, listening to gossip at work or something. I feel like this area of the world is supposed to care about history more than any other. Well, they're supposed to. Part they have of more of, it. of the world. <laughs> We're, we're like 200 years old. Our no, no, we have, and we have <coughs> most of everybody else's history True. as well. We don't, got rid of all the competition. Don't, for, don't forget, uh, like, we already had an episode where we literally stole a black tooth. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, we went, like, second episode into slavery. And yeah. it, was, it was a really good episode, too, yeah. but it, it is infuriating to a certain degree because there's just so much history that we will never get to see or learn about because it's just been... It completely extinguished. Same shit with the fucking Library of Alexandria. Oh I yeah, will never yeah. not be angry <laughs> that that fucking whole library was destroyed. Anyway. And 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 the, the the main librarian tried to rescue like two thousand books, and she got found out murdered, and all those books got destroyed as well. So you know, uh, okay. well, uh, you know, in, in, um, in isn't the history fun? <laughs> well, I guess uh, you should probably be aware that uh, Governor DeSantis. And in Florida has just decided that there's no advanced African American studies allowed in the school systems there. Uh, I mean, that, exactly. that, that is just the... the that's Florida. That's, yeah, that's just the re full realization of Floridianism. <laughs> we, <laughs> should, we should probably introduce our guest first. Yes, uh, yes, actually. that would be smart. Yeah. Good, good catch, co-host. This co is uh, my mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is, this is my, my daughter. Yeah. This is Come my on, sister. Let, let this is, yeah, exactly. No. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, my yeah. sister. Stepsister. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Stepsister from another mister. Uh, here, I'm not... You say your own name. Yes, My, please, my name is Joy Goring. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's nice to have you back in in, in Austria uh, <laughs> after your family fled 120 years ago. Or I don't know how long ago it is. But, uh, mm, I think they, they, they fled about a yeah. That's probably accurate. My grandparents were from Germany. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So. so so they were probably economic refugees. <laughs> I didn't but, ask them, but it's quite possible. You said that we weren't no, going to do most, any questions because and you're most, going straight for, are your families Nazi? <laughs> anything before 1920, you can describe it. all Austrian, all Germans, all Czech people, all the Polish that went to like uh, 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 Chicago that has a full like Polish sector. Mm. And that's all economic refugees because they're all motherfucking poor people that were ruled by a kaiser that didn't give a fuck about them <laughs> but you could afford a ticket to go to the u.s back then so yeah. i had family that had to decide whether or not they wanted to fight against the germans german oh, people yeah. fighting against the germans yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah. prussian infighting oh a great time yeah yeah <laughs> yeah the my, real, real fun time for, for, for the German populace. <laughs> my Irish family immigrated to the U.S. in the '60s, so we, I can't relate. Oh, you unfortunately, were, you went real oh, late. Yeah, so they were real like... late to the party. We, <laughs> we were just like, now nah, we're gonna stick around in this famine for a little bit. <laughs> are, you, are you an EU citizen? Mm -hmm. Oh, because of your pa your parent. Oh, Technically, you're so my granddad. Lucky. Mm. I have three passports actually. You might be uh, able mm. to get birthright to be in Germany. Honest, maybe. Oh, well, Germany. Germany is a bit difficult in particular, but give yeah. it a shot at least so you can get out of there. Yeah. <laughs> How do you like free healthcare? Yeah. <laughs> How do you enjoy that? How do you like really decent public transport? No. Oh my god, I love public How, transport. How do you like uh, paying into a pension fund for 25 years and then getting 80% of your last salary forever? Is that true? Holy balls. I That's mean, it's insanity. a bit more to, than 25 years to get the full pension, but it's still pretty Wow. Nice. I swear to God, when I was like 15, <laughs> when I was like 15, I went to Europe for the first time. I was about to go on an, like an exchange program to Switzerland, and my aunt was like driving me home from choir practice. She's like one of the most liberal people I've ever met, and I'm talking like American liberal. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking like leftist, any of this stuff. She's just like a regular lady who voted for Hillary Clinton. Something right, like right, that. right. <laughs> 
on, on the way home from school once, she's just like, so you're going to Switzerland, is that right? And I'm just like, mm-hmm, yep, that's, that, that's me, I want to study abroad. She's like, you know, I've lived in a lot of different places, I've been to a lot of different countries, I'm going to tell you right now, you're not going to find anything better than the United States okay. of America. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. That sounds about like her generation. It, it, Amazing. <laughs> the greatest generation. Yes. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> They're not that Sorry, the second greatest generation. <laughs> no, greatest generation is people who fought in World War Two. Yeah, I know. I know. No, okay. no. The second, ge okay. second best. Okay. <laughs> the, the Gen X. <laughs> yeah. Did she did she know that Donald Trump was once president? Was she aware of that? <laughs> this was before Donald Trump, actually. Oh, please, Reagan. All right. Come on. All right. Reagan was the, the last straw. This was <laughs> Obama <laughs> era America. Technically, Nixon was the last straw because that drunk asshole was a, an insane lunatic but at least he founded the EPA mm -hmm. which you know on a broader scheme not a bad move mm -hmm. you know he was at least good enough to see that you shouldn't like completely fuck the planet <laughs> but Reagan was like an, like that was the first real insane lunatic in office in my he, he, he fucked the lunatics is what he did mm -hmm. oh yeah away, that too yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah, away yeah. The and then he ignored AIDS for a few years and let uh, AIDS that does that's not real <laughs> <laughs> when you say fuck the lunatic you also mean literally fucked over the oh, yes. yes, as in Phyllis Schlafly was fucked over <laughs> after dedicating so much of her time to campaigning for this motherfucker. <laughs> anyway, we're talking a lot about American history yes, for a so show that is called the Eurocentrist. Europe yes. oh, we're right. about European history. Mm -hmm. uh, mostly, mm -hmm. he teaches me and sometimes other guests yes, uh, that are usually European guests. Actually, so yeah. it's not just that Europeans know more; it's just that he has an insane level of knowledge about obscure history thank you and uh, that is why we are here and yes this is true but yes. this is not obscure history I, I think it's just underreported history this mm. time around you are the first American I've ever met with a soul it has a strange effect on me Okay. Uh, this is episode 7 of the Eurocentrist, so now we have it officially out of the way. All right. And we are, as you already uh, appropriately guessed, mm -hmm. we are uh, covering uh, Hedy Lamar that we have yes. beautifully uh, lit back Ooh. there. Yeah. Yes, uh, uh, she is one, one of... Uh, one of the first it girls in my opinion yep but also true. uh you know a, 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 a hottie with a brain mm. so i wanted to cover her <laughs> life a little bit mm. so let's stem bitches we so love our stem bitches. as always uh, thank you to our researcher ben mm. for thank writing pages upon pages upon pages about Hedy Lamar. Every episode he does this. He prepares like a fuck ton. He does That's all the research. That's a lot research. of pages. Yes. He's really, he knows his shit. We have a thorough researching mm. uh, household here. Can I borrow him for my <laughs> health insurance? He can research in the United States which plan is best for me. That would be amazing. Honestly, yeah. he might do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just so he can write a paper about it. Yeah. <laughs> about the American experience from a, from a, from a European uh, viewpoint. Mm -hmm. All right. A uh, quote from Hedy Lamar at the beginning. Mm. I want to tell my life story because it's unbelievable. The opposite of what people think. The brains of people are more interesting than the looks, I think. That's She's easy right. for someone beautiful to say. <laughs> <laughs> You should know in that case, yeah. huh? <laughs> Pretty <laughs> privilege. Yeah, real. exactly. But she's not wrong. I mean, in this particular instance, you know how easy it is to like get. You know how easy it is to just settle for anyone who just looks whatever if they don't have a personality. Mm, mm, you know, mm -hmm. you got to learn how to weed people out if you're hot. <laughs> these are these are problems that we have to deal with. <laughs> yeah, all those himbos out there, yeah. you know, like <laughs> or just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, sorry. All right, all quotes will be by Hedy uh, herself, except where it will be noted otherwise. So mm -hmm. expect everything to be her words. Okay. Uh, okay. All right, Hedwig Eva Maria Kiesler was born in Vienna on November 9th, 1914, or possibly 1913. We don't exactly know. Oh, she's lying about her age. A woman <laughs> is scandalous. <laughs> lying about her age? By only one year. That's pathetic. <laughs> oh, my God. That's how much you could get away Did with back then. Back then. <laughs> so she's Austrian? I didn't oh, yes. Know she was she's Austrian. very Austrian. That's I, why I'm picking her. That's good. Okay. I, yes. did not I didn't know that either. Yes. She's she's a Viennese girl. Ah, she's a Vienna girl. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> v <Vi> <laughs> <laughs> and she was born into an assimilated Jewish family. So okay. uh, Vienna had a big chunk, uh, a big uh, part of the Austrian-Hungarian Empire, uh, the, 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 the upper middle class and the 
upper upper class a good chunk of it was assimilated jews where they uh -huh. wouldn't even practice it basically mm. where they were just like they saw themselves more as citizens and subjects of the kaiser than their religious identity mm. right yeah Jewish. And Jewish, yeah. yes, mm -hmm. exactly. It was like, like culturally Jewish, but in practice, exactly. you know, doing yeah. what everyone else yes. is doing. But, but like stuff like early uh, learning early on to read and write and stuff like that, that's very important. And that also made them like go into fields that made them very rich or profitable, like doctors, mm -hmm. lawyers, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So, So naturally she wanted to be an actor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's 1914 when she's born, you know, the yeah. war is just starting, <laughs> so that's not a... <laughs> okay, so her father, Emil Kiesler, uh, comes from uh, Lemberg, uh, which was also Austria-Hungary back then. He was the director of the Wiener Bankverein, one of the largest banks in the Habsburg Empire. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> the Jews and the banks, you gotta be careful. <laughs> her mother, Gertrud. Uh, Gertrude. Yeah, her her, her, her Gertrude. maiden name is Lichtwitz, which is hilarious. Light joke. Light joke. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I kind of love that name. But light in the sense of light sauce, not yeah. a light joke like, ah, ha, 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 ha. Yeah. <laughs> it's a joke about, it's a pun, basically. <laughs> what's, yes. what's the word for joke? Witz. Witz. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Had been born into a rich Budapest family and was a trained concert pianist. So her mom is from the arts and also rich. Mm. Uh, quote, <laughs> people have the idea of uh, I'm sort of a super thing. I never knew I looked good to begin with because my mother wanted a boy named George or Georg. So unfortunately, I didn't become that and she wasn't too thrilled about that. <laughs> Oh my god, I just, I had no idea that I was just <laughs> so good looking. Um, my mom so wanted a sorry. fucking gay one. Yeah. I'm so upset about how attractive I am. Oh my mm. god. <laughs> Can you like not? <laughs> That's the whole vibe. We we stand a confident queen though. We, <laughs> she's she's humble, but like she's she still knows her worth. We love that. <laughs> Hedy went to a private school. Obviously, her parents were like filthy rich. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe cooling on the rich talk about the Jews real quick. You're gonna, you're gonna pull a World War Three real quick if you where, <laughs> where she learned ballet and how to play the piano. So chemistry was her favorite subject. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. She's a STEM girl. <coughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Before yeah. before it was even a thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She couldn't. Who, who would have known? She could have been a crystal meth manufacturer. <laughs> Ooh, a Breaking been. Bad with Hedy Lamarr yeah. in the role. <laughs> That's a. <laughs> oh, I want that. A we need like AI deep fake technology to exist so that I'm, we can. I'm the good looking fret. <laughs> <laughs> God, uh, she would have. Except would've... you have healthcare, sorry. Yeah. So that wouldn't have worked because no, you're. Yeah. still take place in America. Everything is yeah, the yeah. same except that yeah, yeah. it's starring Hedy Lamar. And she's in a very loving uh, uh, very. lesbian relationship with, uh, with Skylar. Skylar with Skylar, yeah. yeah. Everyone still hates Skylar though because they're misogynist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the bitchy lesbian. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Allegedly, uh, she first discovered her passion for innovation uh, invention at the age of five when she disassembled and reassembled her wind-up music box. Mm -hmm. Her father fostered and shared her interest in technology, often going on walks with her and explaining how things such as streetcars worked. Later in life, Hedy would call him her greatest love. Mm. Aww. A good supporting dad? In 1914, <laughs> she was just, he is just like, here, you have a passion. Um, you, you can do that. You yeah. don't have to, you don't have to make food or it's, it's have a baby. You know, it's crazy. Even when you were rich back then, you normally didn't support your yeah. children. But you didn't see like them as daughters. human beings until, oh, especially daughters. Yeah. yeah. You didn't see them as human beings until they like turned 16 and yeah. you could marry them off to somebody. Yeah. yeah. But until then you're like, ah, but also, you know. Child yeah. mortality was insane, so yeah. <laughs> you don't want to get too attached, bro. <laughs> well, not not if you're like filthy rich and you have like the money to take no, the yeah. care oh, of No, yeah. Oh, because child. then it's mercury poisoning that you're dying of because that's what the doctor prescribed I and love, leeches. I love that though because like it, it just shows because we you know we're both from California or I don't know if you're from California. You live in California. I'm from Texas. Mm -hmm. You're from Texas. People. Lived in California a long time. Yeah. I grew up I in um, Menlo Park, and I I I, I, I appreciate you know hearing stuff like this because it just shows that it has always been the case that people parents if they have enough money 
will be able to give a shit about their children. <laughs> Especially their girls. Their right, girls. right, Absolutely. right. That's the gold standard, yeah. yeah. You're an actual good human yeah. being if you take care of your yeah. lady but, that you but, but brought into this world. <laughs> but that it's not even a matter of that is you have to have money in order to be a good parent sometimes. And that mm -hmm. really sucks. It's not even always... To be non-traditional, right? If you yes. have money, then the wife doesn't have... They probably had servants or they maids oh, or whatever. Oh, for sure. Cooks, Dude. right? Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, right. Some goyems who can turn on and off the lights on Sunday <laughs> and stuff like that, you know? <laughs> All right, quote, I was different, I guess. Maybe I came from a different planet. Who knows? But whatever it is, inventions are easy for me to do. Okay. She sounds like she's from the Church of Scientology. <laughs> Oh, it's a good thing that L. Ron Hubbard wasn't around yeah. if she was in oh, Hollywood. Oh, yeah. Oh, that oof. That would have been, been a big oof. Because yeah. it could have worked is the problem. Uh -huh. She's an alien. <laughs> That's why she's so special. Uh huh. Yeah, it's all those phaetons that she has in mm -hmm. her body that mm -hmm. makes her so good at stuff. I do wonder, Definitely. though, like legitimately if, um, I, I mean, it sounds like she had the kind of upbringing that did encourage like genuine positive uh, you know, yeah. interest in subjects. But I, I sometimes think that, especially if you grow up or if you spend enough time working in a really superficial environment like Hollywood that you sort of start to disassociate with the personality that you were before you got there because mm -hmm. you start valuing things oh, that yeah. other people see and notice about you and then people are like surprised that you have a personality. <laughs> oh, there's a human behind this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but I think that like yeah. that has a psychological toll on yourself and I can imagine if she's writing all of this in the past tense, you know, if she's mm. like, maybe I'm an alien because I had like a personality. They're <laughs> <laughs> all so bland here. <laughs> <laughs> Aliens? have the best personalities. <laughs> but also, Probably. she's a Viennese, you know, oh. so... Yeah, but they have That sounds so delicious. Yeah, exactly, that is. Yeah. A Jewish Viennese, she's yeah. probably very witty. Yes, absolutely. You know, like, 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 humor is, like, that was invented, it's basically. literally but. in her name. Right. Her family's yeah. name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> All right. Uh, like many other Jews, uh, the Kieslers lived in the fashionably artsy 19th district Dublin, which is our neighbor <laughs> district right yes. over there. Okay. And it's very, it looks very similar to this one. So yeah. Is even, it still Jewish? Even more hoity-toity. Uh, the Jewish area is, is more, more in the like, second yes. district. Don't you have like two Jews in the whole state? Like 6,000. Like 6,000? Yeah, no, yeah. we, we, yeah. we let them stay there. Or they let them stay there. <laughs> it's I mean, a few survived and yeah. most of them came back. Yeah, like most the people most like to come home. People want yeah. to be in their homes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. our like our most revered chancellor of the Second Republic after World War Two was Jewish, mm. but he was one of those assimilated Jews mm. where he never talked about it and anything, and he he was anti-Zionist and pro Saudi oh, no. Arabia. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Pro no, it went, you know why? Because he loved oil. <laughs> oh, pretty soon oil will be obsolete. It's so exciting. Uh, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll look forward to that day, yes. Uh, I mean, for plastics and stuff, you'd still need it. But as a fuel source, yeah, I would agree. Yeah. Do check out the second district, though, because it's a gorgeous area. Uh -huh. um, okay. It's You see a lot of people with the ringlets and everything. Yes. I used to live Orthodox in a Jews, very yeah. Orthodox. I lived in an Orthodox Jew Jewish neighborhood neighborhood in mm -hmm. Los Angeles for oh, a wow. long time. Oh right my on. god, yeah. Yeah, definitely you'll see yeah. the ringlets. Yeah. <laughs> so pretty. All right. um, according to herself, <laughs> Heidi was a regular enfant terrible. Fascinated by acting and having won a beauty contest at the age of 12, she started working for Austria's largest film production company, Sasha Film. <laughs> <laughs> At 16 years old. I thought you were going to say Sasha Fierce for a second. <laughs> and I was like, oh no. Oh, Beyonce is going to be real mad. <laughs> is that her company? I know. I don't think she has a company, but Sasha Fierce was like a whole, uh, like, I think like alter ego or something she had. Uh, uh, okay. yeah, interesting. Yeah. But yeah, so, so. <laughs> uh, so it's always good to see that there were creeps even back then. Oh, yes, 12-year-old, mm, beauty contest. And that, that's <laughs> not unique to America. Yeah. That's what I'm most surprised about, because mm -hmm. I thought that was like a very like southern... What does a 1926 beauty cost contest look? She has all her teeth. <laughs> like, what, is a, what is a beauty contest back then? Well, no, because they, they used to like remove the like back bits of your teeth in the US. Like, uh, who was it? Who was it? Um, Joan Crawford had to have like a certain... The Mullers? Yeah, the molars. They oh, I had shoot. mine removed. 
Oh yeah. For, uh, as no, a your wisdom, thing? your wisdom teeth no, or your molar every, molars? Oh my molar. No, my wisdom. They're the same. No. No molars no, are no. just uh, the the, the, oh. the back row. Yeah. The ones that you use for chewing. Oh, so they want to remove the molars so you go like this? Yeah. So that you can have those like Whoa. cheekbones. That's what. Yeah. That's, that's what they intense. did. Joan Crawford went through a lot of shit, dude. That just, is. That is. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> you don't have all your teeth. That's yeah. how you're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you have your teeth missing just in the right places. Yeah. That's important. She probably kept her wisdom teeth. Ah. Sounds like, right? Because she was a brainiac. Ah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, Beauty contest. Very soon, uh, very soon, she got her first role as an extra in the romantic comedy Geld auf der Straße, Money on the Street. <laughs> Money on the street. <laughs> that sounds so romantic. <laughs> <laughs> Does it say what the movie is about? I think no. it's, it's Pretty Woman, except uh, in the early <laughs> Money, Money on the Street. Every, <laughs> it's Money on the Street, not from the street, you know necessarily. <laughs> Money on the Street, bank account in the sheet. Oh, what oh the no. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a Jewish pawn right there. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me the size of your, <laughs> oh, your, of your, of your, of your wallet. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Followed by a small speaking role uh, as a secretary in the comedy Sturm im Wasserglas, Storm in a Water Glass, uh, 1931, uh, after which producer Max Reinhardt brought her with him to Berlin, uh, where she got her first leading role in the 1932 comedy No Money Needed. There's wow, a lot of money there's a in, theme, right? Oh, yeah. It's in the 30s, yeah, economic downturn. Oh, true. Oh, true, that's true. I, I thought this was going to be a racial thing for Weimar a second. Weimar Republic, you know, <laughs> like hyperinflation. I think I think they, they, they need that. Money was on their mind. Uh -huh. Are all of these in, in Austria right now? Uh, no. Well, Germany some, of, some of it. Or Germany. Uh, Germany. First Austria, then Germany. Germany, yeah. okay. Yeah, okay. She hasn't made it, made it yet. To, to the to US of A. Yet. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was her next film, however, that would bring her international infamy. Gustav Machetis, Machatis, Machatis, uh, 1933 erotic romantic drama Ecstasy, mm. a Czechoslovak production of uh, that a, sounds a naughty. hot Czechoslovak thing. <laughs> <laughs> That is very rare. Wait, uh, wait, wait. I thought like the Czech Republic was like one of the most, like third most uh, Yeah, they make pawns. They make pawns. Okay. <laughs> and your point is? Yeah, it's but not same. an erotic romantic drama. Like that's... Have a, you seen... Have we... Is this out there? I would love to see what an uh, we erotic... We definitely have to watch Ecstasy oh, yeah. after Like this. what it looks like. That. Oh yeah, we I definitely mean, We need to, to see that. what the plots of all of these movies are, first of all. And I want yeah. to see Ecstasy. 1933, so it's probably is still maybe even silent film did she show a uh, shoulder probably yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like how well, erotic was she it she showed her elbow an her ankles <laughs> she showed elbow and ankles <laughs> she bore full her. elbow <laughs> whoa, whoa oh hey guys yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah and she Save folded that for it so only hands. she she folded <laughs> it so you can see that thing there and then the lens zoomed in just to that and then Sexy. she did this you know like is that my ass <laughs> She did this at the camp. <laughs> <laughs> she drew two circles and dots in it. And she's like, <laughs> that was an ecstatic. Uh, that was a romantic drama back then. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, okay, a Czechoslovak production of which a Czech, German, and French version were filmed. Oh. Holy shit! Oh yeah, because it didn't overdub back then. Oh right, right, right. You so had just that means she did all those languages. I guess so. Oh my god. So the young, at least phonetically, you had to. Oh, still. But she's Does that mean born she's... Jewish in the Austrian Hungarian Empire, so I'm assuming she just speaks all of those things. Probably. That's probably. And she's she wealthy. She probably speaks so. like six languages, huh? Yeah, yeah. Because she's wealthy, so yeah, she's, yeah. she has time. Oh, yeah, and educated. French, yeah. It's yeah. like a. That's what they do. The and they didn't even have internet, so you could really focus on stuff. <laughs> oh, <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> if you weren't a heroin addict, you could really focus on shit. <laughs> Especially when you were a meth addict. Heroin then it, or cocaine, because yeah, yeah. it's the 1930s. Well, oh yeah, I mean, both of those are over the counter still, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, so uh, we're filmed. So the young actress, 18 or possibly 19 years old at the time of filming, we don't again know exactly, mm -hmm. but she was of age, mm -hmm. uh, to a 10 minute naked scene <gasps> swimming in a lake. 
Oh my god. And subsequently chasing the horse carrying her clothes through a forest. We'll, we have to watch this. Yeah. Oh, I we have watch to watch this, this. Did she get compensated fairly for this? <laughs> and also was she running like this? Because <laughs> the horse runs really fast and no, that can no, be it's, painful. It's, the cinematographer was really good and he always found a branch or uh, uh, <laughs> you know, in the shot. He was really good. Like they paid him the most. Uh, <laughs> Well, they wouldn't have had to. <laughs> they would have done it for free. <laughs> oh, You're how paying many, the wrong how person How many of here? the best boys were jerking it after this movie when they were the, offset? It was close set. Offset. It was close set. You it was just it was the horse, <laughs> just her clothes, just Teddy Lamar and the DP. That was it. This is 1933. We'd yes. be lucky if they left at all to go jerk off. <laughs> this is before Me Too, y'all. That's why I'm like, did she get paid fairly? For <laughs> right, this? right, right, right. <laughs> okay, the movie. Glad to it up. Uh, that is amazing. The movie featured probably the first ever sex scene in non pornographic Ooh. cinema. <gasps> okay. Wow. Okay, girl. Yeah. Naturally, with only the actors' faces being shown. Yeah. So it's a full <laughs> sex scene. How do you have a sex scene with just your faces? It's a full sex scene with just your faces. Yeah. <laughs> How long do you we. You have to really sell it if you're an actor then. <laughs> Was Ooh. it like a montage? Like a auga. Auga. Zoinks. Auga booga. If if the man unironically, <laughs> unironically auga booga. If the man I'm having sex with doesn't sound like that, <laughs> then I know he's not. Sadly, a <laughs> sadly, we have lost something over yeah. the generations. <laughs> The man I am having sex with does. <laughs> he unironically <laughs> says Uga <laughs> When he finishes a before. <laughs> I will be pleading the fifth. <laughs> I will leave that to your imagination. Yeah, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Okay. Oh, my God. Um, with Hedy Kiesler, uh, that's... Her... She's uh, still she Hedy Kiesler. At the, at the time. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So they changed their name in Hollywood. They don't do that. Yeah, yes. getting to the first uh, depiction <clears throat> of a female orgasm in a feature <gasps> film. Hetty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, Even Ben is impressed. He's like, is yay, this, feminism. Yeah. <laughs> is that what Meg Ryan studied before her <laughs> <laughs> The OG. Yeah. I want to know what it sounded like, the first female orgasm Let's in a film. Let's find out. Oh, mm -hmm. But I want to know if it was real, though. That's what I want to know. Oh, is it the first on screen is faked, of course? <laughs> I mean, it's Europe. It's not Hollywood. They could right. be doing, like, it's true. is the real thing here. We There's an oh auteur who's like, I want penetration or nothing. <laughs> And she's also 19, so they could have convinced her. Yeah. All right, 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 right. Hmm. But, but I mean, I mean, she it's not like she was in need of work. I mean, she comes from Truth. money, so this ha I hope that it was for love of the craft. That's what I'm hoping. The next sentence is the best thing that I've read on this podcast. So I can't far. wait. Needless to say, the Pope was not amused, and the Hitler didn't want to <laughs> have Jewish tits shown so publicly in his right. <laughs> Oh my God! Okay. Jewish tits. I don't. I don't care about the Pope as much, but Hitler. This is outrageous. Hitler, I will not see anything. I jerked off Susie's boobs so many times <laughs> without knowing. My right hand is not movable anymore. I have arthritis. <laughs> this is the Jewish conspiracy I was talking about the whole time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is literally the best thing I've ever heard. Why, why does the Pope know? How does he know? <laughs> the, exactly. Out of mouth. Whose mouth? Word of altar boy mouth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. I was gonna say I'm not surprised that Hitler would be an incel because but. I think this this Pope still was pro Hitler. So oh, so Hitler told him. Did you believe what I heard the other day? See, uh, no, no, he show, he sent him a tape. You know, like <laughs> you have to see this. <laughs> yeah. This is outrageous. You, you will not believe. <laughs> no, watch it again. Yeah. You have to watch it again. Yeah. You see here, there's a weird cut at three minutes thirteen seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see how the tits are different? France and yeah. the other titties. Yeah. <laughs> These, those titties are subversive. <laughs> At exactly 1.5 seconds, you can see <laughs> you can see a, a conspiracy message played in. This is amazing. Thank you, Hedy, for making Hitler angry with oh. your. <laughs> 
that is. You didn't even need. You didn't even need to go to Hollywood. Did I cut out? Uh, just a second. It's okay. it's fine. But uh, thank it's it's just oh a nightmare in post production. Gosh, for me. that's incredible. Oh, so, yeah, that I'm is. sorry, post production, Paul. It's okay. But um, yeah, you know you're a legend if you make Hitler mad because. Uh, it was very easy to make him mad. Yeah, that's his whole shtick. Yeah, 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 but still. Yeah, He's, that's literally the main Pop thing. Pop make him angry it is funny. Most things make him angry, though, if you think about it. All right. You imagine the, the downfall meme, but it's just him getting <laughs> mad about Hedy Lamar's boobs. <laughs> or Hedy Keesler, I suppose. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that the cable's... I can't talk it. I think reason. that was me this time. I'm, I'm yeah. not sure whose fault it is. It's definitely my fault. Oh. In the end, it's my fault, for sure. Well, <laughs> in the end, you're going to pay for it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that doesn't yeah. necessarily mean it's your fault. Anyway. Just for the viewers, uh, the cables are shitty and I uh, yeah. didn't give us change them properly. Give us money and then they won't be. Yeah, exactly. Yes, yes. Uh, do, do you exactly. Have, this is the... What do you call that thing? Patreon. Where Patreon. Patreon, do you have that? Yes, we are on Patreon. So, uh, And again, if you uh, subscribe to the higher tier, uh, you might get sent one of those original scripts mm -hmm. that uh, from the episode. You get and we might something. actually send you a postcard of Hedy Lamar's boobies. Oh, yeah. yes. You nice. <laughs> We're gonna do the work. We're Not gonna do the. Binding. We'll do the heavy lifting where we will the watch the. Lifting. We'll do the heavy lifting. Yeah. We will watch. Heady we will lift. take the hit. We will watch the whole movie. We will take the screen grabs For and we will send purposes. it to you. Right, right. Only yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. get your head out of the gutter, audience. <laughs> we'll we run down. We'll, we'll find the original so. print in the archive. <laughs> we we'll dig it up. We'll rescan it in 4K. Because we respect women yes. so yes. much. Yes. We have to watch it very intense. And we should send it to the current Pope because I think he'd be okay with it. I do, I do think that he Just would be okay. Just to see if the Catholic Church's yes, stance This is the pawn I'm okay with. Uh, oh, that, that Pope died. Uh, oh, did the current? Oh, yeah. No, the, the German one. The, oh, the German one. But the new one? the one from the retiree. Years? No, the retiree oh. Oh, Pope. Okay. All right. Uh, <clears throat> the Nothing. Uh, the tits may in fact have been the bigger problem than the ethnicity for the Rudy uh, little ignoramus from Braunau as an edited version of the film was eventually released in Germany in 1935. Incidentally, the same year the US ban on the film was also lifted. The rest of Europe widely lauded it as an artistic word from the get go. So basically, the U.S. didn't want to see titties. Yeah, <laughs> we can't have that. No, because that goes against our American values. The, we need wasn't, violence. Wasn't the code uh, already in, in 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 place at that point? Yes, it was like yeah. the early 1930s. The what? The Hayes Code. Hayes oh. Code. Yeah. Yeah, the one where they're like, you can't have, you can't show a butt or a <laughs> or anything <laughs> or or a you cigarette. Can't, a married couple can't sleep in the same bed. They it has can't. to be two separate beds. That's why in, until like the 60s, 70s, you, you can't never say saw pregnant. You can't say the word pregnant. Yeah, that's incredible. It is insane. Yeah, that Hayes ever got his fingers on that shit is is yeah. Especially, it, it's, have you fuck seen you. have you seen a Mae West film from before the Hayes Code? It's oh, like amazing. the funniest shit. Yeah, ever. they're they're hilarious. You're allowed to do what year was that Hayes? The Hayes uh, like 1930. Oh. Yeah, something like, like that. Early yeah. 30s, something yeah. like that. But uh, it, late eighties, early uh, late twenties, early forties. Oh yeah. my God, he Something saved more. America! It's, thanks, Hayes. <laughs> thanks, Hayes. Thanks, Hayes. You <laughs> saved for, us for keeping boobs and butt <laughs> and married couples from being on screen. I don't know what I would have done. I don't. I don't know, I don't know who I'd be. <laughs> no. I, I would. I, I turned out gay anyway. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that would have done. But uh, <laughs> all right. Hedy later claimed that she was tricked into doing the naked scene, oh. that the director lied and told her that uh, there'd only be white shots of her with no details visible. However, other people involved in the <coughs> production have denied this, and it seems very likely that Hedy made up the story in order to assuage the profoundly brutish <laughs> sensibilities of the American filmmakers while trying to get into Hollywood. Yeah. In either case, her family wasn't too amused about it either. <laughs> 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 Sorry, mom, dad. Uh, I totally didn't know that even though it's literally a wide shot and you can see everything, I had no idea you were going to be able to see details. Now, is the marvelous Miss Maisel inspired by this? Because no, there's a boob scene at the beginning. It's uh, John Rivers that it's inspired oh, oh, oh. by. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So sorry. is John Rivers inspired by Hedy Lamar? <laughs> John Rivers' life was inspired by Hedy Lamar. <laughs> yeah. All right, quote, and when I came back to Vienna, my father, I mean, it was horrendous. He wanted to kill me, practically. What I did, though, right after that, I said, I'll show them. 
Ah, uh, get it? <laughs> okay. I'll show. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, she, uh, she did so by getting the title role in Fritz Kreisler's operette Sissy. To quote Heidi, I had a big, big success with that on stage. I got op uh, ovations and my father cried. Aww. Aww. One, of the, uh, one of the people in the audience was uh, the immensely rich Austrian weapons manufacturer Fritz Mandel, who soon acquired <laughs> the 19-year-old as his trophy bride. Oh, I don't like that. Being only 14 years his, her senior. Okay. That's not that creepy. Still very creepy. No, that's not that creepy. I don't know how many times I've been like, I can't wait to date a hot weapons manufacturer. <laughs> Austrian <laughs> weapons manufacturer. So he's yes. bad at his job. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I need my child bride to be <laughs> at my side at all times. No, that's. Um, yeah. Yep. Well, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> she sounds perfect for Hollywood as we uh -huh. move along here. Yes. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, again, I'm, I'm saying she's the first it girl. This is. Why did she say yes to that? She she didn't have to say yes to getting married to well, that. Mandel, though half uh, Jewish himself, was making weapons for the Nazis and the fascists. Uh, Hedy, baby. Hedy, what's up, girl? They often went hunting near Mandel's lower Austrian country home of Schloss Schwarzer. Ooh, that one is beautiful, so Ooh. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we all get the are fine. Yeah, they, they pay for some good shit. Uh, <laughs> quote, we had a country house with 25 guest rooms. Oh man. Girl, you literally sold your soul for, for 25 guest rooms. For like, a very luxurious Airbnb. And we yeah, went hunting. Forget the Jews. I like this guest house. <laughs> it's, like, it's not like you didn't have guest house money at that point. Like, you didn't have to. And I loved that. I had a browning and a shot a stag into the neck. 350 meters. I'm a good shot, so be careful. See, oh. she's perfect for America. She's she's, she's, her, she's Hollywood, and at the time, you know, there were guns in California. Like, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. She, they, she doesn't play by the rules, any mm -mm. rules, but for that matter, the Hayes Code rules, <laughs> the rules of decency. No, that girl, girl wants what she wants. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> she's Joe Rogan. She hunts her own meat. You know. What I mean? <laughs> oh, they hit it on my podcast. Oh, I want to have a conversation with Hedy Lamar. That would be amazing. <laughs> She's doing DMT, you know? <laughs> she only eats elk meat. Yeah. <laughs> or whatever the fuck Joe Rogan She's does. She's so fucking buff. <laughs> She's yoked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh. yeah, yeah. All, All right. right. Um, the trophy bright life wasn't really for Hedy. Though she did get uh, to welcome illustrious guests into her home, such as Odin von Horvath, Benito Mussolini, and according oh, to herself, Adolf Hitler. Yikes. So the later claim is, uh, uh, is doubtable, as Hitler probably wouldn't have risked being seen with a Jew, actually Catholic, like Mandel. Fritz was uh, extraordinarily jealous, constant fearing that uh, Hedy might be having an affair, which led him to try and buy up all the prints of that dumb picture, as Hedy called it, meaning film poster advertising ecstasy uh, that showed a drawing of her fake orgasm face. <laughs> Uh, Wait, does that she, mean it's not her, out? Her husband pulled a fucking uh, 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 Star Wars uh, 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 Hollywood special, uh, Halloween special. What was it? Christmas, Christmas special. special. <laughs> yeah, she pulled a ball to fucking. Oh my god! <laughs> Were you trying to literally? What an insecure dude! Like that can't perfect he belongs they belong together yeah right <laughs> at this, this point i don't think they belong i want her to get out of there <laughs> i'm really worried for her and this already happened <laughs> like i'm trying to think of like what you could compare that to like in modern times mm -hmm. that's like um it's not quite johnny depp and amber heard but it's like i i still don't trust like that i yeah. don't know it's just it gives me bad vibes no matter what side of the relationship <laughs> that you're seeing it from they're not healthy together Pam and, yeah. Pam and Tommy, maybe? Pam and Tommy? Ah, yes, actually, yeah. that's a much better, yeah. that's a much better mm. one. Oh, nice. Good one. All right. For being an international arms tycoon, Mandel doesn't seem to have had the best grasp of how markets work, as this, of course, just led to more and more posters being printed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're learning the hard way that you can't you can't stry sand that shit. You can't. They're gonna know. In his paranoid jealousy, he even had the maids listen in on her phone calls. Uh oh. So he tapped her phone. Stop! No. Biologically tapped the phone. All right. No. Was was he on the other end of the cup? Yeah. Like, did he have, a, did he have string, an extra string? string? Like, <laughs> like, are you tapping? <laughs> like in that time, Eric. <laughs> 
<laughs> the, the, the telegram thing. Yeah, <laughs> did he have? Did he make friends with the bird? <laughs> what did she say? The carrier pigeons. Yeah, the carrier <laughs> pigeons. Exactly. I'm like, I'm just like, did they think this was normal back then, or was this weird at the time? I, I don't know. I feel like like tapping your wife's phone has to be weird at the time. Oh yeah. Like, oh yeah. Because like the age gap, that probably wouldn't have like raised many med. No, that no, no that would have been. Oh no, the normal. age gap normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but especially because probably your in first fact, wife died in, in childbirth was, anyways yeah. and now you're just upgrading to she was too old anyway yeah. she was like right. above 15 14. she was 35 <laughs> she was no, 30 he was no she, she was, was 19 20. oh so she, she was, was 20, like yeah, 20 exactly. somewhere yeah. Yeah. she should have been more like 13 yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's what i'm saying like she's like How? in the story if you made it into a hollywood movie yes you would turn her into a 13 year old to make it <laughs> all right uh <clears throat> Oh, this is... All right. He, his beloved father, Emil, uh, died suddenly of a heart attack in 1935, mm -hmm. probably uh, brought on by his deep concern about Hitler's rise to power and the accompanying resurgence of anti-Semitism in Austria. Can I just say that's how I felt when Trump was elected president? <laughs> like, I was going to have a heart attack. No right. joke. No, right. I, like, relate to that. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's crazy. I went to high school the day after the election. Oh. I lived in Tennessee at the time. There were people who were going home in okay. tears. I right. was. I went home in tears and from too, work. Yeah. Too many people at my high school were okay with this. Were okay with him being the president. They're like, "Fuck yeah, let's go make America great again." And we're just. <laughs> and all their teachers were no straight up. It was like the beginning of like a. I've never seen Star Wars, but it's what I imagine. Like the beginning of. It's like um. The one scene from the prequels where it's like, this is how every how liberty yeah, dies yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. with thunderous applause, except it was just teenage boys screaming <laughs> at the back of their pickup trucks mostly. Yeah, and that's why Anakin Skywalker is such a good plug-in for that. Yeah, he, because he is the disturbed young boy yeah. that gets uh, radicalized by Basically. an older man. He's the original incel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, not incel. He, he, he fucked. I mean, did he? Had he had two know? kids. He had two kids, but you can still be an incel even if you're, like... He's you an have, honorary incel. He's honorary. an honorary <laughs> incel. <laughs> an honorary incel. Uh, you can't tell me a guy who's like, his car, it's an irritating, and it gets everywhere. Fucks. <laughs> you can't convince me of that. All right. This traumatic event was likely a turning point for Hedy, and in 1937, good timing, she left her husband. Thank you. <laughs> Just thank you for me, because I don't want to hear more about your fucking husband. Allegedly, she escaped her ever watchful husband by putting sleeping powder in the tea of one of <gasps> uh, the maids, who wow. looked a bit like her, switching clothes with her, hiding all her jewels in the lining of her coats, and getting the fuck out of Dodge on her bicycle, fleeing to her mother's friends in London, where she stayed for a few months. <laughs> did, did, did she have any idea this was going to go like this? No, no I Never, this no. is incredible. <laughs> is she fucking. She, it's like, like a heist movie. No, it's like scary. She Ocean Thirteen husband. Have you guys seen uh, the Invisible Man? Yes. Uh, yeah. This, the remake or the original? No, the the or yeah, the oh. one with um, Elizabeth Moss, the new one. Nah, I've seen it. Nah. Okay, it's really fucking good, but yeah. it's like about like Elizabeth Moss ex escaping from like a really abusive husband. Like the first scene is like this really tense scene of of like her trying not to wake that motherfucker right. up and I just can't help but picture exactly that. <laughs> that's not, I'm not, not saying that to be funny. I'm yeah. actually on edge just hearing that's, this. That's yeah. how I leave one night stands. <laughs> <laughs> you saw all, 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 all the jewels. All the jewels. All the jewels. You Do you have a female bike? roommate? You know, you switch her out. You know? <laughs> You do the you do the you do the uh, uh, temple of doom thing where you slow <laughs> do the, the bag switcheroo and then a boulder comes behind you. <laughs> fuck 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 fuck. <laughs> do you it's, want exactly. the boulder? Is just it's it's the, says written on it. Do you want to stay for breakfast? And you're like, <laughs> except instead of a boulder, it's the Nazis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the entire Nazi party. <laughs> All right, quote. Uh, we one day went to a movie. I forgot even what it was. They happened to have a line, you know, Metro Goldwyn Mayer. So I said, "Oh, I want to be in that." <laughs> oh, okay. That's that's some that's that. that's some rich people shit. Where you're like, <laughs> you're going to a movie. I'm like, I want this. That's, like, <laughs> that's some like L Woods. I'm gonna go to Harvard Law School. What yeah. like it's hard kind of <laughs> mentality. <laughs> I love right. that. We love that. 
it was in London where she first met Louis B. Meyer, oh. who was in town too, as Richard Rhodes, author of the book Head is Folly, put it, buy up all the actors and actresses who were escaping Nazi Germany. Wow. He figured he could take them back to Hollywood and slave them in his Metro Goldwyn Meyer empire for a cheap price. Oh, there you go. Slave yeah. labor. We never stopped using it. Meyer offered her $125 a week. <laughs> Oh, we need to look at the conversion rate. She turned the offer down, <laughs> declaring it not good enough. Thank you. She knows because she's rich. Yeah. Finally, she's like knows her worth. Why did you stay <laughs> with this Nazi motherfucker? Did but she quickly changed her mind and took passage <laughs> on the ship Lu Louise was taking back to the States. <laughs> Stop letting me down! I want to stand. This you. is a roller coaster of emotions. Like she's doing the right thing, the wrong thing, the right. She thing, is. The wrong she's thing. right, wrong, right, yeah, wrong. She's a real human. Fuck, fuck. Taylor yeah, amazing, Swift. Right? This is the real anti-hero. Yeah. There, she caught his attention by putting on her best and sexiest clothes, causing him to hire her for more money a day or two into the journey. Okay. Okay. <laughs> he snapped his fingers, and I didn't know why. I didn't know what. All of a sudden, I got five hundred dollars a week. Interesting. Thing. Which is back then, that's good money. Yes. That is very 500 good bucks money. a week is not not bad at all. You negotiated from 125 to 500. Yeah, you 4 x it. That's, that's pretty <laughs> that's incredible. incredible. Yeah. That's, a, that's a real negotiator. Also, you know, she knows that she's hot. Yeah. <laughs> she uses the, the whole tool set, you Even know. Even though it doesn't matter. It yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not hot at all. You know, it's your mind. Just it's your mind. Being hot yeah. <laughs> doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. This is not nothing, right? <laughs> you That's don't need to be hot to get any anywhere guys, in this world. Stop yeah. trying to get my movie that my ex-husband <laughs> pulled from circulation. <laughs> it's not about the way you look. It's not. It's <laughs> oh, amazing. Okay. It's, mo uh, it's worth noting that at this time she still didn't speak any English. English. Americans. <laughs> wow. She's like, I want my money, but in German. And he's like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> a being uh, Americans being too innocent to pronounce a wildly complex name like Kiesler correctly, it was Louis' wife uh, who came up with the suggestion of calling her Hedy Lamar mm -hmm. after one of her own favorite actresses, Barbara Lamar. Oh, Barbara Lamar. Oh, I don't ba, 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 Barbara She's Lamar. Pretty. Wow, <laughs> it really rolls off the tongue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I totally know who that is, Barbara no idea. Lamar. Probably silent film era, I'm uh, assuming. Probably, yeah. yeah. I feel like, a, yeah. Or vaudeville even. Oh, probably, probably. Uh, so much blackface. <laughs> I was gonna say, even fucking Judy Garland's not immune from the- Uh-huh, yep. <sighs> All right, in 1938, uh, she starred in Algiers, her first film since Ecstasy, which made her a proper movie star overnight. Mm. Aside from all the women in Hollywood suddenly copying her style, she also got to meet such people as Pablo Picasso, Charlie Chaplin, Austin Wells, Howard Hughes, whom she dated for a time, mm. calling him the worst lover she ever had. I was gonna say, <laughs> this is just this is just a lineup of all the worst guys, like <laughs> from a personality standpoint. <laughs> Between Howard Hughes and her, their attraction was more cerebral. And JFK. Okay. Mm. A very young JFK. She could have landed JFK. <laughs> what year was this? Huh? 1938. And she was born in what year? 19 1914. 14. So she's 24. 24 now. Okay. okay. How old yeah. is How old is JFK at the time? Do we know? Uh, he's what, probably 38? around the same age. Oh, he's got to be in his 20s or something like that. I hope she fucked JFK. She should be more proud. Of <laughs> she him. did. How? What? In what? She absolutely did. No, no, no. She. It's like she's more proud that she met Mussolini and Hitler than she did JFK. I, I mean, I'm those are bit... dictators. You know, that's. <laughs> yeah, but but also, JFK was the pre is gonna be the president. Yeah, but he got elected you know like people voted for him like yeah they that had means people choice. liked him but yeah. also did, 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 are we tracking the fact that hitler didn't like jewish titties and then he was at her house <laughs> allegedly allegedly we don't know all for right sure. i'm just saying yeah. i feel like honestly i feel like that's probably true I again like all of those guys are no. fucked in the head anyways they probably wanted were like slighted by a jewish girl yeah. that they like fancied in school and stuff like that yeah you know like they are all fucked in the head so i don't think it's like no they'll be like I can't be seen with a Jewish person, but like these motherfuckers <laughs> oh, don't yeah. actually give a shit they about their racism if it benefits them that's in some true. way. That's def uh, definitely yeah. true. Yeah, that's well, definitely especially, true. Oh, yeah, especially a hot person. Still. If somebody's gorgeous, just, yeah. they yeah. don't yeah. care. A hot person or someone who's telling you all of your weapons that you're using yeah. <laughs> to exactly. fight in the war. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> anyway. 
Quote, including Kennedy, whom I knew very well before he became president, he asked me out. So he said, so he said, what can I bring you? And I said, oranges, because I like vitamin C. Uh Uh-huh. I don't get this. Oh, the C is definitely for cock in this case. <laughs> Come on, guys. I was like, what the fuck? Oranges are titties and... T- t- <laughs> was, Kennedy, was Kennedy a redhead when he was younger? <laughs> He's definitely, they've got red in their family. Oh, uh-huh. do they? Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure. Maybe mm-hmm. that's the orange C. I don't ah, know. okay. Mm-hmm. Would you believe any person would have asked for oranges? That's the way I am. A fool. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Come on, Haiti. Come on. Haiti. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's it's a terrible pickup line. That's <laughs> Bring me oh, oranges. Ooh. This oh. is like this is like. I'm sorry. I hate to say this, but if she were alive today, she would absolutely be pulling a Madonna and making her own biopic and directing it and uh-huh. starring. Oh it. yeah. Oh yeah. I'm sorry, Hedy. I love yeah. you. <laughs> I want. I want to do her biopic. I, <laughs> not just me. I just want to make it. It sounds so interesting. Could you imagine like a Wes Anderson like movie, like a Wes Anderson <laughs> Hedy movie? Yeah, oh, yes. she's running away yes. from her fucking oh, husband yeah, yeah, yeah. and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get Saoirse Ronan to play Hedy But the but the 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 the, uh, the Nazi part has to be directed by um, fuck uh, Starship Troopers uh, Paul Verhoeven. Oh yeah. yes, that, yeah, that yeah, stuff. I see that. You know, he white bands it. You I know? see that. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. And then it gets quirky when when Sanderson <laughs> jumps in. You have a, I think that's what she. Oh, go ahead, go. Yeah, go, go. no, no, sorry. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think when she says "fool," I think she means goofball. Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah, like yeah. like they say, "I'm a, I'm a, I'm a." I'm a fool. I'm so quirky. I'm quirky. Yeah, yeah exactly. Now she's, it's like I'm she's quirky. She's the fucking uh, Japanese anime thing that. Then. <laughs> oh, you mean like this? Like, like what this. are you doing? <laughs> I know what this is. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. It's that. That's what I'm reading into this. Oh, All right. <laughs> a friend described the contrast between her public in- image and actual persona. Quote, no matter what, you expect Hedy Lamar to be glamorous, sophisticated. Quite the opposite. She loved picnics. She loved to go scavenger. <laughs> <laughs> she loved picnics? <laughs> she loved to, yeah, she so loved to play charades. Uh, <laughs> she's so disgusting. So no sophistication. Such a oh, basic man. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she has an E-Pre love book in her diary. <laughs> she has listened to NPR on the way to work. She wasn't very good at it, but she had a great time. You know, the, pre- uh, the pretenses. She was fun to be with. Aw, yeah. well, there you go. She's so quirky. She's, she's so down to earth. She's down to earth. Mm. Yeah. Even before Algiers, uh, she had been marketed by MGM as the most beautiful girl in the world. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, you have to say that with a 40s accent. Most beautiful girl in the world. See her now. Look at this dame over here. Yes. She's, is she not the most beautiful gal you've ever seen on this side of the, <laughs> the Mississippi? I don't know. I don't know where that came Your from. Your penis is going to be so hot. It's going to be like Atlas. It's going to lift up the world. Uh, she'll she'll is the beautiful some... girl in the world. You'll see her and you'll want to give her some of your vitamin C. Am yeah. I right, fellas? <laughs> 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 you'll want to play charades with this dame. Here. I'm sorry if you Hitler was disgusted by her tits. <laughs> that, that's how you know she's quality, you know? <laughs> Except we agree with Hitler on way too many things at this point in history. So maybe don't sell it that way yet. <laughs> we haven't schmoozed up to the Soviets yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, um, uh, Yes, and uh, allegedly, partly ins- uh, allegedly, partly inspired Disney's version of Snow White. Although the fact oh, yeah. that that film came out in December 1937 before her first Hollywood production makes that claim somewhat dubitable. She Wait. did Snow White? No, 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 she was inspiration maybe for Snow White. Oh. In the if, if, makes, I can see that. I can sense. see that too. If that's true, then that is the most ironic thing ever. What is Hitler's favorite movie? No, oh, right, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Comes all the way back, I baby. thought it was brilliant. Brown snow. All right. Uh, <laughs> I don't know like, what you're talking about. The Nazi party's color is brown. I know that, but I thought that is that an actual movie? Or no, no, no. no. <laughs> okay. 
If I hope that that's true, that Snow White. And is I, his apparently, baby. he was also into poo poo play. Maybe well, is there a s- like, no? Yeah. Is there a single Austrian man in history who wasn't into poop play? First, it was, <laughs> you're not in history. You don't matter. Wow. Okay. All you right. don't matter yet. Fair enough. <laughs> then Fair you enough. can start having poop fetishes. <laughs> <laughs> but first, it's Mozart, and now it's fucking. You will have poop fetishes. Yeah, no. you're gonna you just have, have to wait. Just yeah, give it yeah, time. It's, it's okay. Don't worry. Yeah. One day you'll be, yes. be relevant enough to have poop fetishes. You mean you, my personality will digest itself into that? Or? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You'll. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, God. <laughs> I regret this already. Yeah. It is, however, indisputable that she was one of the main inspirations for the look of DC Comics Catwoman. Oh, that's In true. fact, in her very first appearance, 1940s Batman number one, it really does look like they literally just drew Hedy Lamar. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that, actually. Anne Hathaway, uh, upon learning of this, actually started Hedy's films in preparation for the role in The Dark Knight Rises. Oh. Is that when Anne Hathaway t- took was, her shirt off and ran after a horse? <laughs> that, that scene, is that why she did <laughs> <laughs> She actually got special permission to watch yeah. it. Christopher <laughs> Nolan is a perfectionist. He's, so. yeah. He's a genius. <laughs> They're like, no, we need to get more takes <laughs> of you in that skin tight outfit. Hedy's second of six marriages came in 1939 when she surprised her fans by wedding screenwriter and producer Jean Markey, who wasn't exactly a sex symbol. She was deeply in love with him, in no small part to his sharing many traits with her deceased father, as she wrote in letters to her mother. And though the two adopted a son, Jimmy, together, he started cheating on her a few months into Wait, the marriage. Wait, the, the, the child started cheating? Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy! Jimmy! Me, Jimmy me. He's I, seeing another family? Yeah, exactly. Only a couple months in? This is I awful. want the wasp family. <laughs> I don't want no Jewish I want to hang out with the boys. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Not the boys, the yeah. goys. <laughs> goys before boys. <laughs> goys before Goys before boys. That is, that would, again, great pawn title for it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> More, yeah, starring Hedy Lamar. Boys before goys. <laughs> yeah. All right. So the, the first one would be goys before boys, and the yeah. second one would be oh, boys true, before true, goys. True, 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 true. Two. To electric titty boogaloo, boogaloo. Yeah. <laughs> titty boogaloo. But we're no, we're not gonna just ignore the fact that a Jay Z Beyonce situation just happened here. <laughs> that that some Jay Z looking ass motherfucker cheated on Beyonce. I love too that he is a screenwriter. You know, like the, <laughs> oh, well, there it the, is. the ugliest of the professions in Hollywood. You know, <laughs> like even <laughs> best boys look better than because they have to work out. A screenwriter is sits in his home and writes and does cocaine. No, you know, like <laughs> basically. <laughs> Probably like five foot seven, like yeah. <laughs> never had a single thing of protein in his life. Smoked cigars S- back then, cigars. probably. Yeah, no, those lungs are just oh, tar that's, yeah, black. exactly. Yeah, all right. In Hades' word, uh, a man does not try to find out what is inside, he does not try to scratch the surface. If he did, he might find something much more beautiful than the shape of a nose or the color of an eye. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's just too quirky for this world. <laughs> quirky. She's too. She's in- too much of a fool for this world. <laughs> yes. <laughs> People just don't understand that you can't. I'm going more Judy Garland. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll say it again. She, she is. She is saying that she wants to believe in the brains, but yeah. basically her beauty has gotten yeah. her so many places. Because uh-huh. we live in a society, and back then society was worse. <laughs> that is quantifiably <laughs> true. Yes. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Not too sure if she uh, she's one to talk though. As it turns out, the son they adopted was bo- uh, was born James Lamar Loder, the bastard of Hedy and British film star John Loder, whom she would eventually marry in 1943. You were wondering earlier how the adoption process worked. Ado- how do you fake an adoption? She gave birth <laughs> to this person. I'm so confused. She gave birth. That's, that, that's amazing. And she Honestly, adopted the mad respect to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> That's something. Father, secretly fathering a bastard child is something is only, she, is wait, she, is only she, reserved for men usually. But she's broken. She has broken the ceiling. Of, of is she catch me, catch me if you canning her life? Is that is, is, 
<laughs> she Let's is. see what I can get away with by being charming, you know? She, I'm, that, actually, that also tells you how long between auditions in Los Angeles. <laughs> 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 she, 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 like between jobs. She's like, I'm the queen. I'm a celebrity. And then you disappear. <laughs> yeah, for three months. For yeah. three, and you're three months. On yeah, mu- oh, you act for the first three months. Yeah, of, yeah. Of, okay, okay. So know. then six months, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And they're still, you're still on contract, so they can't not pay you. So. <laughs> <laughs> She's calling in sick. Yeah. <laughs> She's calling in baby. <laughs> She's like, I'm sorry, I'm adopting a child for nine months. <laughs> Why didn't she? Wait, wait. She was have a, this amazing opportunity with this temp agency. <laughs> <laughs> why was she? Why was she? Why didn't she just tell people she was pregnant and just say that? What I think it's the, uh, the, the whole being also untouched in the eyes of you know like unspoiled because she's not a mother yet. So as a sex symbol back then, probably that helped. Wait for clarification. Because it was someone else. It wasn't her husband's baby. It was someone. No, else. it was a it was a British dude. Yeah. So she was yeah. having an affair. Yes. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Well, no. That was, that was before pretend- the marriage. The, the kid is from oh. before the marriage. Oh, so she wasn't married. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, that makes it even child. more. More difficult oh, as yeah, to how she then, could have gotten adopted. Uh, basically adopted impossible. Baby. Yeah, I see. I see. Yeah. Where's the Where's the guy though? Where's the dude? Where's the British film star? I don't know. He might be a British film star. You can know. We, can we also get like <laughs> pictures of the husbands that uh, oh, that she has so we can? Which like, one? Which one of the them, six? <laughs> all of them. No, no. Like I'm saying, this is what, really a rogues gallery. You this know, is, like, <laughs> this is a this is something for post production Paul to work yes, on I'll, later. Yes, I'll put them. Please, I'll put them all here. We yes. will roast the husbands accordingly. Oh yeah, yeah. Comment below your favorite <laughs> of Eddie Lamar's husbands. <laughs> <laughs> including the one who fathered her bastard child. That right. would be seven, kind of. True, yeah. yeah. Huh. All of all of the boys that she's loved before. Six yes. plus one, yes. Yeah, six plus one. That's yeah. her. That's her documentary. For, for seven now. seasons and a, and a movie. Six, <laughs> well, six seasons and, and a movie, movie in yeah. this case. Yeah. 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 But well, for now, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. All right. In the meantime, Hades' 1940 film Boomtown, though she only played a fairly small part, was a hugely successful MGM and fully secured her Hollywood career for the foreseeable future. On the flip side, in the golden age of Hollywood, that meant that she was worked like a racehorse, as her son Anthony Loder described it. She worked six days a week, had to get to the studio early to get her hair and makeup done, with filming days regularly lasting late into the evening. She was given pills to wake her up, pretty sure it was some form of speed, Oh, yep. as for her daughter, Denise Loder De Luca, and other pills to go to sleep, yet spent most of her after work hours on her favorite hobby, inventing stuff. <laughs> How do you have to? That's the speed. That's yeah, that is the speed. Yes. Yeah. She's getting the Judy Garland treatment, and instead of like having a breakdown, she's like, "I'm gonna discover science." Yeah, exactly. She's oh. like meth, meth boy, Texas meth boy, <laughs> uh, Florida meth boy, like building like a crazy contraption. Oh, but dude. it's the 1940s, so that contraption is still an innovation back then. You know, she has just a bunch of shit in her trailer, yeah. like <laughs> her wardrobe trailer. She's been in her trailer for like three hours, and she won't leave. But last time I tried. <laughs> go in there she screamed at me about she has a broken down Camaro that she's working on outside you know like that's the most clever thing I've ever seen like in a Hollywood trailer it's just all of a sudden she's just got like you know like chem- like vials of chemicals mm-hmm. and oh, just, yeah. like, it's actually a meth lab in that trailer <laughs> <laughs> that's what breaking I get innovation sorry. back then <laughs> but yeah uh, the inventor of crack Hedy Lamar honestly <laughs> among honestly. the things she came up with were new plane designs for her virtues New what? For new plane designs for Howard Hughes. Oh, for Howard Hughes. Yeah, okay. because Howard Hughes was really into building big ass planes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Quote: He le- he relied on me. I thought the aeroplanes were too slow. I decided that's <laughs> not right. They shouldn't be square the wings. So I bought a book of fish and I bought a book of birds and then used the fastest bird and connected it with the fastest fish and I drew it together and <laughs> showed, it, showed it to Howard Hughes. He said. Okay. You are a genius. Definitely on speed. Definitely, <laughs> definitely on speed. I, I bought a book of birds and then a book of fish, and then you put them and you put it together, and then they get like a fly. She's like crazy. Like yeah. I know what. I but that is also innovation back then. Is yeah. like looking at a fish and looking at a bird and be like, I'm those are some, some, yeah, those are some smart forms instead of a box. That's you know? so <laughs> crazy. Can you imagine like just hanging out with like an inventor and you're just like no i don't think you're doing that right mr inventor mr <laughs> airplane maker imagine, imagine if marty mcfly <laughs> was just micromanaging <laughs> fucking doc brown the entire time <laughs> <laughs> that's 
that's what she was doing. That's what like, she and <laughs> Doc Brown is like, thank you. you know? like, <laughs> well, no, Doc, Doc Brown is not fucking Rick from Rick and Morty. Okay, he oh, was yeah. a nice guy, mm -hmm. but I don't think I don't know. I don't know. But all right, <laughs> she also invented a table that would turn water into cola. A bitch! No, a you didn't. <laughs> That's called I'm Jesus. Kidding. That is called Jesus. That is his story. You Get, can't have step all... it fucking back. There's there's a there's an audio on TikTok that's like, not all these bitches can be your sons. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's Hedy Lamar. <laughs> Quote: I had two chemists. Howard Hughes gave me to do that. Oh, okay. You know, during the war, nobody had Coca Cola, and they wanted to compress it in, into a cube so that service manufacturing people all they had to uh, all they had to have is water and put it in. But I didn't realize that every state has different strengths <laughs> of water. So it dissolved on the bottom, on top, in the middle. It was one of my boo-boos. I didn't do that right. <laughs> my boo-boo. But I don't have to work on ideas. They come naturally. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, your insane Coca-Cola cube machine. The, the ideas come naturally work. to me. The ideas come naturally. I love all these ideas that I have. <laughs> she's literally, she's like, literally 1930s Kanye West. <laughs> She's a genius, yeah. but like we don't know what the fuck she's doing at any given point. She has questionable views on the Nazis. <laughs> she, she loves Hitler. <laughs> she loves Hitler. Hitler love doesn't love her. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Hitler wouldn't have loved Kanye either. Yeah, exactly, so. exactly. Yeah. She's also like a big celebrity who like just has everybody else do stuff for her, but takes credit for it. She's like my chemist. I mean me. Oh, like, Yeezys by Lamar. Yeezys by Lamar. <laughs> Lizzie's. Lizzie's. <laughs> Lizzie's by Lamar. To We're taking yeah. immediately. Please, we, <laughs> they will. Uh, she they, she will invent them. Don't worry. She's coming <laughs> back from the dead to invent them. <laughs> yeah, she's. We're actually partnering with Hedy Lamar's uh, ghost uh, yes. as, as uh, top tier patrons for a Patreon will receive Lizzie's <laughs> <laughs> free Lizzie's from us. Oh my gosh, Lizzie's we should, freezies. <laughs> we should definitely make those and have yeah. somebody. Pa you should Patreon them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like how um, Lil Nas X had like the blood Nikes, the one where he put oh, like yeah, human yeah, blood yeah, yeah. into it. That's gonna be a. <laughs> we'll pill for her grave and we'll put a little Lamar in each of the shoes. A little Lamar in every <laughs> shoe. Oh my All god. All right, uh, this one is actually impressive. And let's not forget secure radio communications. Quote, I got the idea from my invention when I tried to think of some way to even the balance for the British. A radio control torpedo, I thought would do that. The simple but brilliant <laughs> principle was that she dubbed frequency hopping. Rather than send your uh, radio transmissions on one specific re frequency and risk them getting jammed by the Germans, you just have both ends constantly synchron synchronously jump between frequencies. I don't know what that means. I, I, this is so complicated. Hattie. You know that LTE, Hattie. LTE is a different standard than 3G. Sure. They <coughs> use different frequency bands of the electromagnetic spectrum. Okay. Um, so you have, you know, how you dial in your radio station. Those are different frequencies. Mm -hmm. 99.8 is a frequency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand that. But so what she came up was a two-way system where they would speak with each other. The, okay. the radio towers oh, I see. and then change frequency at exactly the same time so that when you have for example again a German jamming a certain band of the frequency I spectrum see. like frequency okay. one two three four so whatever you know yeah Wait, infinite is basically. she is she like a down genius? in history yes. was, <laughs> is she like down in history for the person who invented that see this is the thing when I was like she seven does. years old on my bike I invented oh, the no, iPhone no, 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 in my she head actually did. but I did not have like she anybody to do did. that no, 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 she actually did. I was with you for a second but I'm like I still am with you for this a different reason though because it's like <laughs> Does it, do you, does it count as inventing something if you just do a thing that no one else did? Yes, that, that is does, literally it. That's not inventing something, though. Yes, it is. I mean, oh. it is inventing the moment you bring it to the patent office. Uh, yeah, okay. But that's then not it like... Starts, it's not like you invented the computer. Still, it's though, just, it's very nice to see, again, a, a lady She, she hacked Nazis. the radio. <laughs> she just life-hacked the radio. I don't think that... Does that count as a, an invention? It's, a, it's an entirely new technology. But that's... Yes. The technology? Yeah, okay. yeah, the base. I, so she did the base for it. If yes. we looked up that technology, would Hetty be involved in yes. it, I wonder. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that's yeah. fantastic. But I thought... My understanding... 
understanding was that she invented the concept of changing to a different radio station. No, it's the automatic <laughs> part, and that, that oh, the okay, two devices okay. do it themselves. Oh, okay. You don't have to have user input anymore. What you say, all right, let's switch to frequency eight now, and oh, you do okay. it. No, no, the, the the machines do it themselves. That's why I was confused because I thought you were saying. And it's the same technology that still enables our smartphones today to work properly. Okay, that that's is that's the same technology. That is bomb. Is he mad at us or just German? Or no, Austrian? Just Austrian. Being very <laughs> no, 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 he's kidding. just like, no, you have to understand. <laughs> this is very important to me. <laughs> no, he's not mad at us. <laughs> I love that though because like my sister came to visit Vienna. My American sister came to visit Vienna. We were only there for like an hour and she was straight up just like, I think I said this on stage, but this is a real story that happened that <laughs> we would like interact with people briefly. Like we'd go up to a counter and we'd like order coffee and she'd be like, what are were those guys mad at us? <laughs> and I'm like, no, they're just like that. <laughs> yeah. like, they don't mean to be. It's just our our understanding of customer service is very different in America than mm. it is. I've had that same experience. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you're gonna have a story after that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No. <laughs> no, because he was we're gonna yeah, be yeah, yeah. quote. Uh, it was so obvious. I mean, they shot to pieces in all directions and never hit the target. So I invented something that does. I mean, I can't explain. I have an inventive mind. Well, okay, now I can't really disagree with that because <laughs> uh, she did invent something as we've established. Mm -hmm. Though it, the idea was hers, the implementation was that of our on guard American composer George Antile. Her son. <laughs> Uh, her son Tony described their first encounter. Quote, my mother met George Antal at a party and she liked George Antal a lot. So when she left the party early, she wrote her phone number in lipstick on the windshield of his car. Okay. As Antal wrote in his book, Bad Boy of Music. <laughs> Did he title his own fucking <laughs> memoir? <laughs> by by the way, how, how old is her son at this point? What huh? year is this now? Huh? What, how her son oh, is... Oh, Tony, uh, we're, we're, we're talking like she's like 30 we've, now. we've jumped ahead. A okay. little bit, but we're still in the war. So we're he, still, in, st still in World War II. So he has to be, the son has to be 8, 10? Uh, when he was there, I, I'm guessing okay. he wrote the book. Uh, like at, the, when he wasn't 10. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That <laughs> came a little a bit later. Age. I think it's a memory. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. But wait, so this guy, George Antile, mm -hmm. titled his own memoir, Bad the Boy, Boy of Music. Music. Yeah, and There's... we have a quote out of that book right now. Okay. Quote, we began talking about the war, which in the late summer of 1940 was looking most extremely black. Heidi said that she ha did not feel comfortable sitting there in Hollywood and making lots of money when things were in such a state. And that she was thinking seriously of quitting MGM and going to Washington DC to offer her services to the newly established Inventors Council. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tony summed it up nicely, quote, she was very patriotic, she loved America, she was grateful to be here, and she wanted Hitler dead. So did George Antel. In a letter, George uh, wrote about his work partner, quote, Hedy is cute, tough, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, She's uh, not she any of those things, she, she would, she wouldn't, He wouldn't have said tough. Uh, Hedy <laughs> is cute, Hedy is cute, though, and very, very beautiful. She, lo uh, she lives in a childlike world, uh, likes to stay home and invent things, and doesn't like men to be to he. Nevertheless, she doesn't like women either. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like a Wait, she was the first pansexual or so? Like I guess, yeah. <laughs> She's just like, I'm, uh, as long as your brain is awesome, I'm going to bang you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or wait, she was, uh, she was uh, basically... Wait, did you just say he? She does. People were too he for her. Yeah, like does too that mean, male, like, too manly, yeah, too I manly guess so, for yeah. her. I mean, that, that might not be too male. It just could be like too like yoink. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, like some people, you know, I kind of get that though, because like some people are into like you know Channing Tatum looking dudes, and I'm not about that thumb thumb looking life. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about their mind, which yeah. is why the, my taste in men is very questionable. Uh -huh. <laughs> but also, so is Hedy Lamarr. Yes. So you can, you can. I associate. very much. This is the first time I've related to her this whole time. <laughs> aside from the, actually, I just want to stay home and invent things. <laughs> That's a pretty good one too. 
too, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I just want to stay home, be by myself. <laughs> on a side note, this is Ben writing again, so mm -hmm. this is proper research. Hades seems to have actually liked both men and women quite a bit. Uh, uh, you were right. Hello. You were right. <laughs> Here's her description of an encounter with one Marcia, a young actress in her, written by one or several ghostwriters, 1966 autobiography, Ecstasy and Me, My Life as a Woman. Which, by the way, in its first German translation, got the much more interesting title of Ecstasy und Ich. Skandalöse Enthüllungen aus sechs Hollywood Ehen. Well, if you say it like that. We have to explain what that literally translates to. Yeah. Scandalous revelations from six Hollywood marriages. Ooh. Scandalous. Was she married? She wasn't married to a woman. Was she, oh, no, she no, couldn't no, have no, been. Well, then the scandal yeah. was the fact that there was a woman. Mm -hmm. See, that's what I kept feeling like with the whole, like, oh, right. too he, too male, that mm -hmm. she would be yeah. open to other people. All all right, yeah, okay. quote, my heart was pounding a bit. I kept, I kept telling myself to keep control and knew that the magnetic current had flowed both ways. As luncheon progressed, mm. I knew she was <laughs> on the make for me. Her hand often rubbed against my thigh under the table mm. and, wants to make, uh, and wants to make a point, she squeezed my leg and looked into my eyes. Later, we cuddled on the seat of the car. Her hands went under my dress and all over me. I let her do what she wanted to, and all my frustration and hate left me. Oh, that's a powerful uh -huh, statement. Yeah, 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 yeah. An, an uncensored reading of this book will be featured on our Patreon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all of my the frustration and hate left me. Of yeah. this, the Red X X version of it this. actually comes with naked photos of Henry. Oh, it Walsh. definitely comes. <laughs> She actually comes. She was the first one to do oh, it. Oh, she, yeah, again, she had the first fake <laughs> orgasm on screen and then she had the re first real orgasm later on. She was that first real <laughs> orgasm ever. Just At this point. Well, she's just so, uh, 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 you know, um, dedicated as an actress, you know? She's like, I have to have the real experience, you know? Like, Did she have, like, an Austrian accent, like, her entire career? No, 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 no. no, no she no. had a good accent, I think. Yeah, yeah, she's, she had the 1940s I, I, I accent. Her movies, uh, like, I saw of your movies especially like in the 40s and 50s stuff of hers and it's basically not there okay <laughs> i don't think i've actually seen a movie with her in it there's I, some really good ones there comrade x in my opinion is one of her best ones mm. because it's a hilarious propaganda movie because it's again it's the americans first time schmoozing up to the soviets because they know that the nazis are becoming really a problem yeah so she plays a a, a, a russian oh, uh, oh, in oh. russia russia but the sets all look like Chicago, you know? <laughs> like, like, but it's in Russia, and he is a guy who comes there to, like, you know, uh, basically, uh, get that, that's the whole plot, is he's just there, basically, okay. the American, to, like, see Russia. Okay. Communist Russia, and that it's not all bad, you know? Like, they're quirky, you know? Oh, those communists, so quirky. Yeah, those, quir those quirky <laughs> communists. Quirky commies! No, th which is a, a huge shift in tone to before that, where yes. it was, they are literally the devil, yeah. they will destroy our society, and they should all be killed right now, and best by the Nazis themselves. Yeah. You know? <coughs> I'm trying to think of what movie so, that this was, but I'm pretty sure it's like the same role that Marlena Dietrich played in like one of the like pre-war. I th no, I think it was like immediately post-war mm -hmm. because they had like a bunch of shots of uh, Berlin. Oh shit! After. Yeah, that, yeah. Do you that's know production value right there. Yeah, they <laughs> you can't bomb Berlin that many times, you know, <laughs> when you're making a movie. It was literally scorched earth, and they were like <laughs> bird's eye view. Yeah. We're gonna film this on our 1930s GoPros or whatever. <laughs> It was hand cranked eight millimeters. You know, I'm straight up. Like yeah. I have to find out. I'm gonna have to like. We'll they turn it around. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait, really. Duck face. Duck face. Wait, okay, really quickly though. My favorite is that that now that she's a lesbian, Hitler's like. <laughs> Hitler's like, oh, those Jewish lesbians. Do you guys want to come over to my house? <laughs> <laughs> and he, would, he would have said, do you guys want to come over to my house? Yeah. Okay, there, I have <laughs> some real depraved shit that I want to show you. <laughs> and it's just... You will get so such rage bonus. So <laughs> disgusting, but come over to my house. Yeah. Yeah. So disgusting. I will show you many gross things. Here's, yeah. here's <laughs> that movie that your husband, your ex-husband did not want people to see. I have it. Oh, we have a second hot, hot quote. Uh -oh. Oh. And here, her encounter with a wardrobe mistress named <gasps> lolly Ooh, lolly pop uh <laughs> if someone's getting popped mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it might be hitler killing you or yeah it, it might be, be a jawbreaker <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right quote 
She began deliberately kissing me all over, starting at my breasts and working down across my stomach until she was on her knees. <gasps> at my first moan, she was involuntary. She carried me, uh, carried me to the bed, and now I tried to fight her off, but she had won. <laughs> Sorry, what? Yeah. <laughs> I know. I was in a better woo, place. Yeah. I was in a much better place. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. Oh, lovely. Okay, a quote by Ben here. <laughs> Okay. Quo- uh, My boner's yeah, gone yeah, yeah. now. <laughs> and yeah, the thought of Paul having to read this out loud, probably giggling like a schoolgirl, is one big reason I'm including it. Yes. <laughs> it's also well done, Ben. Yeah. Well done, Ben. Well done, Ben. We yeah. love you, Ben. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, it should be mentioned that Haiti later sued the publisher of her autobiography, <laughs> autobiography in 1969, claiming that much of the book's details were fabricated by its ghostwriters and not factual. I don't think it's factual. Mm, <laughs> I'll just kind of believe anything about her life yeah. that, that gets thrown into this podcast. And but, I think she does that for publicity. Don't you think? <laughs> like she's just like, just put it all in there, and then I'll yeah. say it wasn't true. And yeah. then I'm gonna sue you, which is a more publicity. More publicity. I'm, I'm kind of yeah. surprised she didn't throw in the. In 1945, I will be running for president of the United States. Exactly. (laughs) I don't know. I'm just surprised that she didn't try it even. Yeah. But back to the inventions. Though some engineer named Robert Price would later claim that she stole the idea for frequency hopping from her first husband, that would make it rather difficult to explain why the Germans never (gasps) used it. Uh huh. So say that's stolen valor by a guy. Classic. Stolen by, by a guy who wasn't even good at it. Yeah. <laughs> the inventors council was impressed with Haiti and George's design, but the Navy rejected it. Military intelligence, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> the patent that would later form the basis of Bluetooth, GPS, Wi-Fi, mobile phones, and he military right. satellites, now estimated at a market value of around $30 billion, would lie uselessly in some top secret safe for the rest of the war. Wow. Because it comes from a woman, probably. Yep. Mm-hmm. A woman who's a Jew. Oh, it's tr- with, true. With nice to Even those titties couldn't keep technology <laughs> from advancing. Those uh, is the real frequency hopping. <laughs> that is the real frequency. <laughs> she just jumped up and she's like, I got an idea. <laughs> <laughs> what if radius did this? <laughs> See, we're, she we're, got that from Lolly, frequency hopping. <laughs> ah, nice. Mm-hmm. Oh, except that was This is what happens when you let women do things. We might do good things for society yeah. too. Yeah. Katie got fingered. <laughs> <laughs> <Fuck up. laughs> All right. Haiti wanted to keep working on the idea, but George had lost interest. So she followed the Navy's suggestion of leaving the smart stuff to the men and using her looks and fame to sell war bonds instead. Mm. She worked very hard to this end and sold around 25, $25 million dollars worth of bonds or about $414 million in 2023. Wow. Half a billion, basically. Wow. In war bonds. That's insane uh, from Cap- one single person. Captain America could never. Nah, nah. Know. She not only created Bluetooth, but she also gave everyone in America she a, gun. A, a gun. <laughs> a gun. Well, her husband did that for the Nazis. Oh, yeah, too, yeah, so. yeah. It's that just, is basically just karma, you know? She's like, I'm oh, working yeah. my, my ex husband's karma off. Here. Oh, yeah, basically. <laughs> but, <laughs> Naturally, the, the wife still has to work off the sins of the husband. Uh huh. While she was doing that, the U.S. government seized her patent in 1942, Ooh. as it was now technically the property of an enemy alien. Whoa. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Quote, I don't understand. They used me for selling bonds. Then I'm not an alien. But when I invent something for this country, I am an alien? You mean to tell me the U.S. government <laughs> is gonna betray the people that helped them? No, no, this is this is worse than paperclip because during paperclip they took Nazi, yeah. Nazi inventors and let them invent things <sighs> and kept their valor. Mm-hmm. It's a woman. You're a woman. She's a woman. Yeah. If she had lived, that is in she could have oh, put them. In, oof. She could have put them into fucking space. Why did you need Werner von Braun? Brown, yeah, exactly. You when you I love how a Lamar. whole... For free! You yeah. didn't even need to make any <laughs> trades for that. She could have done it for free. You just... Oh. You... I oh, can't. I'm I don't so even... Bad. I'm speechless. Yeah, it's fucked. Yeah, yeah it's right. so fucked. At least Louis B. Meyer respected her. At least. Not. Oh! Sorry, that's in here. It's, that's it what says Ben not. says. 
I was LOL. Really, I, <laughs> <laughs> he had a play on exotic dancer in Seductress in 1942's third rate film White Cargo to entertain the troops in what was a dirty picture by American standards of the time. Mayer also sued her a couple of times for not being a good little lapdog and whatnot, <gasps> which earned her, her, uh, earned her a reputation for being difficult to work with. Oh, that's that's Fuck suicide you. in Hollywood. That's the male gaze Fuck through you. and through, man. Man, yeah. they should have set that line on top. Life is through the male gaze. Unfortunately, they should have it set is. that that's line on top. That's what's Hollywood mm -hmm. for so long. Yeah. That that line should have ate Aiden <laughs> Maya. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that Metro Golden Mayor did MGM didn't make Roar that movie. No. <laughs> There's oh, <a laughs> with him in there. Oh, yeah, that been I want. I want. <laughs> yeah, sorry. You probably have to cut this. Oh out. man. Oh my god, ah, oh, fuck you. Fuck god. I'm so upset. Uh, okay, all right. This, uh, sort of, this sort of reminds me of, um, you ever seen uh, the Watchmen TV show? There, There's like the whole subplot mm -hmm, yeah. where um, like the, the African American soldiers uh, in World War II are being basically actively recruited by the Nazis because they're like, look, your own fucking country doesn't even like yeah. you. They're gonna fucking, they put you in, like, mm -hmm. they segregated you the whole time. Yep. They, we're an ethno state and we'll treat you better than this. <laughs> <laughs> People know how to recruit enemies. I mean, yeah. it we, they would not have been better. Well, actually, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, to be completely right. fucking honest. But I mean, they had an Indian division. The Nazis in World War II had an Indian division because okay, the, the British were so terrible yeah. to the Indians oh, that God. they're like, oh, we are Germanic Indian in our oh, roots. I didn't know mm -hmm. this actually. So let's, and we are also super anti Semitic. Perfect. We should, th yeah. that needs to be like its own episode. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually, oh, yeah. Of, of it's on my list. Hell yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I'm an Austrian with a list. I know. It's not a good <laughs> list. I know. I know. Uh, all it's right. for very good organization though. Yeah, yeah. I know. Don't worry. I want to marry an Austrian so that I can have <laughs> someone do my lists for me. Sorry, I, I, I'm already tapped out own. on Americans. Sorry. <laughs> You're married to an American. Oh well, to a Mexican. So that's North America. America. Oh, that's yeah, America. Exactly. That's true. I said yeah. North America. Good, 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 good. North sorry, America. Sorry. Fuck you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, Eventually, Haiti had enough and decided to produce her own movies. Yes, Queen! Nice. 1946, The Strange Woman, followed by Dishonored Lady. In <laughs> oh, I love this. Those uh, are some great grindhouse titles. That is a... The that is a that strange woman. That is such apro it's apropos for her time in Strange yeah. Woman, and then what was the second one? Dishonored, Dishonored Lady. Lady. These should have been her biography titles. <laughs> Just Dishonored Lady. I mean, I mean, it's not. I love how she's like she is rocking the word woman and lady in her titles. Mm -hmm. She's like, Fuck we need dangerous you. day Fuck next you. for for proper alliteration. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Producing your own film was very unusual for Hollywood stars at the time. Mm -hmm. Never mind a woman. Both films, though allegedly not bad, went over budget and flopped at the box office. <laughs> allegedly oh. not bad. Incidentally, Dishonored Lady was the only film in which she co-starred with her husband of the time and secret baby, baby daddy from years early, oh. early, earlier, John Loder, so the, the, the British six. guy. The she British married guy. Him. So there's oh, okay. only six of them total. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. She double tapped. She, she double tapped. Yeah. Uh, their marriage wasn't exactly the hottest shit, though. As Hedy herself once put it, quote, I was married and married because I liked the companionship of a man, obviously. As the couple's legitimate daughter, Denise, born in 1945, put it, quote, I don't think he was the love of her life. I think she said he was stuffy and boring. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's British. What did you expect, Teddy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. at least baby. at least she stuffed my vagina, you know, like <laughs> with with two kids. Yeah, exactly. That child could still be alive. Probably is right? still alive. Yeah, we should yeah. we should wiki. Oh yes, we should okay. get her on the podcast. Oh. Her daughter. Oh, that'd be amazing. Tell us about your mom. <laughs> Hello, Hedy. <laughs> <laughs> I like you. Oh yeah. <laughs> She's still look looking over your shoulders. Yeah, when exactly. you looked down in the like viewfinder, like, it sort of looks like you were looking at a cat or something. <laughs> like, oh, Hedy, baby. You're so tiny. Oh, good girl. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I'm gonna get a cat. Well, George Antal remarked in a letter. Quote: The last time I saw Hedy, she looked paler. Something is troubling her. John Loder is really 
And honestly, too dull for this sparkling and unbelievable diamond. <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> they had another illegitimate child by the name of Anthony Loder, born 1947, and got divorced later that same year. <laughs> she trusts his sperm. Yeah. She's, she's three, three? Yeah. Okay. Or, or that she's just not getting any of them aborted for whatever reason, because that's I mean, it's also, you're gambling back then with Oh, abortions. that's true, that's true. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't have wanted yeah. to take it. A big early abortion in the 1940s, mm, you're really playing with fire. And it's I, not even for your career, it's just because nope. you want to stop having, how many kids does she have now? Three at this Three point, at, I think. But the same man, which yeah. maybe she wanted all them through. to be siblings. Ah. Uh, he did it quite all right as a single mother, according to both <laughs> her children, oh, two children, sorry. Oh, okay. And herself. I taught my children swimming. The little children have little armbands to swim. It makes absolutely no sense because the middle, the center, is where they should be lifted. That is how I taught my children and they swim like fish. They really were good as gold. I did a good job with them. It made me a little tired, but that's part of the job, I guess. A, a little tired. <laughs> She's no, that's lying. A, again, that's a, rich, no, that's a rich lady who had help. <laughs> that's true. It's true. <laughs> she definitely had somebody to take care of while she was on set and shit like that. Yeah. yeah. But it seems like, that. again, this seems like up somebody who loved her kids so yeah. that's a bonus already thank you for being <laughs> a good mom yeah exactly in 1949 Hedy starred in the second highest grossing film of the decade surpassed only by Gone with the Wind Ces <laughs> yeah. Cecil B. DeMille's oh. Samson and Delilah Samson but, and Delilah oh, but this oh. huge success was followed by another series of flops <laughs> culmin culminating in her 1954 pictures Loves, Loves of Free Queens which she produced and starred in having put millions of dollars into the movie, which was filmed in Italy, only to not be able to find anyone in the US willing to distribute the thing, Hedy had at this point lost much of her fame and virtually all of her money. As she expressed it, I'm a good artist and a very bad business person. Oh, that's such a shame actually. Like, Don't forget, until she's still getting scammed out of her patents. Mom's but mom. she but she did put millions of dollars into a film, which is crazy. But Especially sounds, for the time. Yeah. This sounds very normal, though. I, I was in a video store once and I saw. Uh, uh, oopsies. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Um, I was in a video store once and I saw a Tom Cruise movie that no one has ever heard of. So I do feel like. Live by repeat. <laughs> <laughs> That one, that one didn't make any money. And that's a good ass movie. It is a good ass movie. I was about to say. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, they flop, you yeah. know, and then she has yeah. a win. And, it and she doesn't, can't work with the system. Yeah. Because they are all assholes. Yeah. yeah. She precedes uh, Sandy Bullock. She's a, yeah. I'm she's a trailblazer. Proto, proto yeah. Bullock. Yeah. Pro, 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 pro look. Pro look. Yeah. I'm I'm like I'm like sitting here just depressed because I'm like I I wouldn't know what to do in this situation either if you're oh. not you because I wouldn't trust a fucking single person. To yes, head is way out. <laughs> Hedy avoided financial difficulties by having already married her fifth husband. <laughs> Texas oilman W. Howard Lee. Oh, Quotes a nice guy, according to his adopted <laughs> daughter Denise. In 1953. So that's just, that's what that's that's what that's all I get. Yeah. Nice guy. He's Her, nice. At least not stuffy like the other one. Her brief fourth uh, marriage had been to nightclub owner and restaurant tour uh, Teddy Stauffer from 1951 to 1952. So yeah, essentially back to being a trophy wife. She moved with her two younger children to the lone star estate and according to her daughter Yeehaw. quote mom actually had a texas twang with a viennese accent it was hilarious uh, how would that be how do how do how do how do y'all how do y'all how are y'all doing you're gonna have a stroke trying to do that you know like i'm trying to i'm trying to <laughs> Because I'm from Texas, and you so have, this is yeah, how Texas we sound Germans it. Exist still, the yeah. Texas Germans yeah. exist, y'all. 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 By the way, German was awesome. the second most spoken language in the United States yeah. for, a long time, yeah. for a long time. Yeah. Especially yeah. up north, because all the yeah. Germans yeah. moved to like Wisconsin. And in Ohio, Austria, and that's where Hungarian my family. Empire. Again, mm -hmm. we lost True. the... Well, lost. We... Didn't you, care, take care of them. So yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah you did lose them yeah. to us, and also we took your Nazis after. Yeah, that too. was not a good look. On you. Yeah. It was not a good look, but you <laughs> lost them. Uh, he is, uh, unquote, adopted son Jimmy had left the family when he was 11 years old. His sister explained what happened as follows. 
Quote, as an adult, I was looking at baby pictures and it was my first birthday with my mother and father behind me and between them, a boy. And I told mom, who is this boy? And she literally said, oh, it was an adoption that didn't work out. She told me that he was really rebellious and was acting up big time. And Jimmy was put in a military boarding school. (gasps) So the sports coach kind of took Jimmy under his wing, coach and the wife, and he asked Hedy if he could live with them. And mom was apparently so hurt, she said yes. And I can't believe that I have no memory of him. Oh no. Oh, Wait. Hetty. Poor oh, Jimmy. Maybe you're not a good mom. <laughs> Wait, I'm, now I'm confused. Does she have two, two kids plus yeah. one? P- plus the Ill- illegitimate adopted son. Ju- uh, so she's still claiming that he's adopted, I guess. But he Because isn't. he was out of wedlock. The other two were inside those, wedlock. But aren't they all, all from the from same, same guy? Oh. Yeah, but it's still like... So, so there's three. There's there three. Is three yeah, kids. There's three, three. Yeah. I was like, okay. what? Yeah, same, yeah the same. mouth didn't... Yeah, yeah. Wow. But, but, I, so, but is that true? Is it true that like he was sent off to a boarding school and this fucking teacher just... I mean, it's the sister, so... But no, I mean, like, like, is there proof of that? Like, because oh. Hedy could have just lied about that for all we know. He, no, 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 no. The, the sister talking about this situation, I know, not Hedy. I know, he could I'm still saying be Hedy alive. could have lied to her daughter. Oh, maybe, yes. I think that's sure. more likely than anything. But uh, again, the son is not in the picture. So, well, is he's in the picture. I kind of want to see. <laughs> Am I allowed to see if they're still alive? Hmm? Can I see if they're still alive? Go oh, ahead. Yeah, yeah, wait? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. okay, keep going. All right. Oh my God. Mother and son would all uh, would sometimes talk on the phone, but never saw each other again, according to Jimmy. Uh, though Texas was basically early retirement for Hedy, she wasn't exactly about that couch potato life, which showed itself when the family went on vacation to Aspen, Colorado. Colorado. <laughs> well, I used to ski when I was a young girl. I skied to school. I skied all over the place. And I went, uh, and I went through Aspen. There was nobody there, nothing, just a little store and a few houses. And Howard said, this could be a very wonderful skiing resort. Mm -hmm. So I started to build a place called Villa Lamar. (laughs) (laughs) She could have been president. (laughs) Right there. She's just branding. Villa Lamar was an Austrian style chalet. Actually, I really want to see this house. That meant a lot to Hedy, reminding her of the home country she missed and would prove quite lucrative in later years. Unfortunately, Hedy's marriage with uh, the rich Texan wasn't going so well. Weird. That's so mm. weird. I can't yeah. imagine. What's yeah, wrong? he was probably busy laying pipe. Uh, Where? What's wrong with him? Please. <laughs> I mean, come on. I want to hear he, the deets. As per Denise, quote, their relationship wasn't good. It was pretty traumatic. He was an alcoholic. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's from Texas. She gets like every bad stereotype of man. Like the stuffy, boring dude. The, 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 just the, the straight up na- uh, Nazi, the literal weapons, Nazi. Manu- we- weapons manufacturer. <laughs> now an, an, an alcoholic, alcoholic. Texan. <laughs> and and the, the fucking... St- <laughs> five foot seven screenwriter. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot the, the dwarf. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just a two meter. One of the point. seven dwarfs. Yeah. <laughs> He's probably the most handsome once we look him up. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. Look, I want to see the husband. All right. I'm sorry. I'm too curious. All right. The divorce in 1960, the same year she got her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Well, she paid for the. Everybody pays for the fucking star. Truth. Uh, the divorce was a very difficult one, made worse when Hades, then 11-year-old son Tony, was hit by a car while <gasps> riding his bicycle. Uh. And Hedy was called to testify in court while he was still near death in the hospital. Stressed as she was, she apparently thought it would be a good idea to send her Hollywood body double to testify in her place. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> That is, just, that is hands down the best thing no, that I've heard that, the whole like, entire day. At, at some point, we always get a bit of lunacy here. Is you know what right? I mean? Isn't that what they did in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes? Like with the, <laughs> where fucking Jane uh, uh, Russell uh, goes any to other, the room? Any other mistaken identity switch a room? She's movie. a movie no, star. No, 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 no. Because Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, Prefer Blondes at the end, they have Jane Russell go in and pretend to be Marilyn Monroe oh, in shit. court. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah. all right. Okay, yeah. yes. All right, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Perfect, yes. Yes. Did, okay, so what happened? Yeah, the, judge didn't, the judge didn't agree and cut her share of the divorce settlement, though all she wa- uh, she had wanted was Villa Lamar, which she had put two, ye- uh, two years, uh, oh, sorry, which she had put years of work into. Quote, he took everything away. Aspen, which was beautiful. I mean, it was a big shock. So with the pressure here and pressure all over, that's all I needed. So I collapsed. 
I had a nervous breakdown. It feels like I was dead for I don't know how long, but I was dead. And so much so that this light you see at, end, at the end of the tunnel really exists. On the ceiling, I saw my father. This is the three-quarter mark in a feature film where it's raining. Oh, <laughs> this is where it's yes, raining. It's definitely raining. The <laughs> screen yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. E- except the problem is I, I don't think there's going to be a happy ending to this. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. So I'm just sort of like... We have, we, have, we, have, we have one and a half more pages to go oh, through. No. So. Can I ask you, has anybody yeah. ever needed to go to the bathroom during this? Oh, yeah. no, yes. Absolutely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I go to the bathroom? So you wanna, you wanna, yeah, you I think it'll be a better... Break? Yeah. yeah, pee All break. Right. Uh, previously on Eurocentrist podcast, uh, she was having a nervous breakdown because uh-huh. she literally got all of her shit stolen for the crime of literally doing what is societally societally considered her one job, which is to take care of the, her offspring. Uh, yeah. Because, all right. Yeah. Awesome. Hades, Hades' sixth and final marriage was to her divorce lawyer. <laughs> No, no, you got me. No, you're, you're fucking kidding right now. I'm just, I'm just... <laughs> Are you joking? It's almost like you're joking. No, 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 no. That's incredible. Uh, <laughs> Hetty's, Hetty's just, just bringing it home. She's just bringing it home. <laughs> but, but like, I just feel so sad for her because mm. it's like, what other option does she have? <laughs> I mean, who's gonna? So if, if, you, if you're on your sixth husband, you, some guy's gotta really be going. Mm. Mm, yeah. She's trying to recoup some of those legal fees. But <laughs> <laughs> she's trying to recoup some costs. That guy I'm, was I'm, not- I'm working in house now. You know, like, <laughs> we're, we're not we're not we're not externalizing these costs anymore. <laughs> yeah. But I would not marry that fucking divorce lawyer because uh-huh. he was a bad lawyer if he couldn't manage to argue <laughs> on behalf of her, his client. Maybe that's why she wants to marry him. She's like, even if I are divorcing, they you're a bad lawyer. Yeah, they can't They can't steal him from me. No one's going to want him. <laughs> yeah, P.S. by the way, she lost everything in Literally. her last divorce and yet she's marrying this guy? You're she's right. She's recouping. She's recouping. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. All right. So divorce lawyer, Louis G. Boys, in 1963, <laughs> Boys. Boys. Boys, boys over goys, you know. Yeah. Boys oh, the boys want to have fun, you know. Ah. Like, uh, in 1963 and lasted until 1965. Oh, good lord. As her okay. son put it, quote, I wish my mother had a husband who knew how to love her, but she never did. I'm wondering who's really at fault here. <laughs> <laughs> Even before that, moving back to LA from Texas, she, kept, uh, she became much more erratic and difficult to live with. Where before she had been the kindest mom, warmest, most loving of mothers, according to her children. This was probably in no small part to her having been a patient of Max, Dr. Feelgood Jacobson, who supplied most of Hollywood <laughs> with pep pills. Speed. Oh, uh-oh. Bef- dealer. Ruh-roh. Before losing his medical license in 1974. I think even the Beatles have a song about him. Wasn't oh, that probably. like... Mr. Dr. Know. Roberts, I think was... Uh, I don't, uh, wow, I'm we're at 1974 now. Wow. Yeah. I mean, him losing his license in 1974. I'm guessing oh, oh, he's like, oh, oh, oh. you yeah, know, cranking out pills for decades this, this, before they yeah, catch, yeah. Him, catch him. Oh, uh, and injected Hetty with methamphetamine. <gasps> she was literally, uh, as if she wasn't already doing claiming copious amounts to, of meth. Claiming it to be a special vitamin elixir. Oh, fuck you. So as her lying. son explains, quote, wow. so she got hooked on those vitamins <laughs> and they turned her into a monster. <laughs> I was standing in the kitchen and she was holding a fork and she dropped it and all of a sudden she just hauls up and BAM smashes me across the face (gasps) whenever I drop something you pick it up you know she was just out of control Wow, what year is this now? Uh, We're talking 60s. The 60s? Mid 60s. Wow. Yeah. (sighs) What's more, at uh, at the time, Hollywood was frequently poking fun at the H star, such as when Lucille Ball did a parody of White Cargo in 1965. Uh -uh. The next year, Haiti was arrested for shoplifting $80 worth of items, items despite having something like $14,000 of cash on her. I was going to say, $14,000 
period no on uh, her, yeah. but on her at the but time. it's also meth on her so you know okay. like <laughs> she wanted her, she wanted her. the rush her life wasn't exciting anymore Maybe yeah 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 rush. yeah i was married to a fucking arms dealer and now i'm married to my divorce <laughs> lawyer yeah. who didn't uh, manage to get any of the shit that i actually was entitled to legally i need to she, do something crazy she mm -hmm. claimed it to be a misunderstanding and the charges were dropped but andy warhol made a film lampooning the incident and hate his image in general the same that same year. The incident also resulted in her being replaced with Sasa Gabor in Picture Mommy Dead. Picture Mommy Dead? Yeah. Oh, which, the movie is called Mommy Dead. Yeah, Picture, picture Mommy Dead. For yeah. a second, I thought that you were saying. The picture is Mommy Dead. Yeah. Oh, no, sorry. No. <laughs> like, mommy Dearest, yeah, the yeah. prequel. <laughs> <laughs> Picture mommy that is the prequel to <laughs> mommy dear. Mommy dear, mommy dear is mommy dead. Uh, the real connection. The before trilogy. mommy's yes. trilogy. Uh, which would have been her last film. That title ended up falling to the 1958 drama The Female Animal. Mm. He and his friend Roy Winham talked about her then recent penchant, uh, penchant for plastic surgery, which was also parodied in the Warhol film. Aww. Quote, one of her plastic surgeons told me once that she was a groundbreaker, even in plastic surgery, where she came up with ideas. She oh, said, God. my arms are creepy and I want you to cut here right in that line of the fold. I want you to get rid of the excess skin and leave the scar here. Leave the scar on my knee, behind my knee. Put the, uh, put the scar behind my ear. And they did it. And the surgeon said, you know, a lot of the things she said we were never doing before. She's literally innovating plastic <laughs> surgery and she's still not getting compensation. And meffed up. Meth that's how, and she's so messed that's up. how of a genius she is. Is she's completely like she's blasted into space, but she's like, no, no, I can still invent stuff. <laughs> <laughs> These men are morons, don't you see? That's basically her whole life is just incompetent it, men in her way. Pretty much. <laughs> except except they all realize, holy shit, she was right the whole time. Yeah. And also hot. <laughs> uh, well, that's what they're yeah. trying to fix right now, but... In 1969, Hedy tried to figure out whatever had happened to her old patent for frequency, hop, uh, for frequency hopping, only to learn the military had been using the technology <gasps> for years without her being told or ever getting a cent out of it. Oh. As they didn't officially start using it until after the patent expiration date in 1959 it was a state secret before that and then when it ran out they can talk about it oh wow. 1990 1990 forbes was the first to publicly recognize haiti for her inventions 1990 wow. as in forbes the magazine yes yeah i and in 1997 she was given an award by the navy milster and lockheed martin but she's not alive at that point. She? She was, was Let's see. Yes, yeah, she, yeah, yeah don't, no, no, she was alive. She died in, in 2000. Uh, 2000. Yeah, oh she was alive. God. Oh, wow. But I, fuck you guys. I, Giving her an award. Come on, fuck you. Literally go fuck yourself. You're Lockheed Martin. You're made out of money. That's fucking I, awful. I, I'm straight up, like, this isn't even funny to me. I'm yeah, I know, this is, it's this awful. Is, this is awful, yeah. I, uh, again, men stealing from women and claiming it's their own inventions? <gasps> <laughs> Who are you? Uh, 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 what's the guy? <laughs> Louis Pasteur? <laughs> 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 Thomas Edison? <laughs> yeah, who are you? Thomas Edison, exactly, yeah. yeah. Her son Tony accepted the award in, in her stead as Hedy had been spending the last decades of her life since the 60s in voluntary near total seclusion in Florida. Classic in and Tori. Classic Florida. and Tori. Flor oh, she belongs in Florida. Rarely ever even seeing her own children and grandchildren, although she spent most of her days on the phone talking to people, slowly getting herself more and more disfigured by bad plastic surgery. Ooh. Hedy Lamar died on January 19th, 2000, at the age of 85, or possibly 86, we don't know. <laughs> uh, a few weeks after excitedly ringing her children to turn on the TV to catch the Viennese Symphony Orchestra's New Year's concert. According to her wishes, her son Tony spread her ashes in the Vienna woods and an honor honorary grave was erected in Vienna Central Cemetery in 2014. A small alley in Meidling, Vienna, a quantum telescope on the roof of the University of Vienna, an asteroid and several awards and prizes for inventors are named after her. Last quote of this. Her plastic surgery is really not that bad. I was just about to say. Yeah, yeah. It's actually really not that bad. We'll show it on screen later. Quote. Um. Any girl can be glamorous. All you have to do is st stand still and look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that is, Lamar. No, that's not how we... Oh, I think she's being... 
Yes, yes. Amazing. I'm like waiting for it. Yeah. Yay, Hetty. There she is. Thank you, Ben, for writing this. Thank you, Ben. This was fantastic. Yeah, that's a bit. Well, how am I doing? Up. Ready? That's not that bad. It's not that. Like, oh, on the scale, it's not that bad. But hmm? mm, she's like, yeah, she's doing. I'm standing there yeah. looking stupid. Uh, yeah. Yeah. She's doing like a. Duh. <laughs> Duh. I love that though. I love this. <clears throat> that was amazing. I, I didn't think it would work out this great because the, the main thing I wanted to highlight and I knew about was the frequency hopping thing because yeah. of my nerve thing. I was say, Amazing. I with computer science? I thought, may I be confusing her with someone else probably. Yes, but again, that is, oh, uh, that's uh, Lord Byron? No, 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 no I'm thinking Contest of Lovelace. Byron. Lovelace, yes, yeah. Ada Lovelace, yeah. the first computer. Yeah. The first Order. mechanical. I mean, she described the first proper way to yeah. make it, whatever. She'll yeah. probably be an episode. Yes, sometime. probably as well. But I mean, what a crazy life. What a crazy life. I'm so sad. Yeah. Listen. <laughs> and you know, you know what's crazy too is that she, because she was so beautiful, she did a lot of things that beautiful people do. And yeah. maybe if she hadn't, in quotes, been so beautiful according to society standards, she would have just been a scientist and created all these incredible No, she wouldn't have. Oh. <laughs> Back then, she wouldn't even have the right, capabilities. Right, right, right. Uh, again, Marie one of Curie the... was well, actually she probably could have. Marie Curie was like a century older than she was. Yeah, but she was scientist. married to a French guy. Like that guy probably was like a kind of enlightened at that point. No, but it's totally but... true. She was a product of her generation. Yeah. She couldn't have done what she could. Be, she could be in STEM now. <laughs> she yeah. a genius, yeah. and she created all these crazy, wonderful inventions with yeah. that focus. <laughs> Didn't even get a fucking. Nobel, Nobel Prize. Prize honorary, you know? No, the U.S. government, I'm so angry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so This like, is one of the rare moments where the uh, Europeans are the good guys and the Americans are... Well, wait, 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 wait. We, you, there are Nazis <laughs> in this story. Let's not, let, fair, let's fair, not fair, fair, say that. Fair, fair. But, so there's that. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it is legitimately, like, I'm actually upset, yeah. like, knowing this. Yeah. And again, for somebody to come from such a rich, privileged background and still make something of yourself is rare. Yeah. Normally, you become either an entitled douchebag or you become insane and kill yourself or but something you murders know, you very she early was, on. She was so driven, which I love. She was yeah. just like, yeah. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to try this out. And, you know, yeah. I don't fuck. I'm making my own damn movies. I'm making my own movies. Yeah, yeah. and I'm making my own love. And she sounds like she was just like, you know, swept away by yeah. love and excitement and saying yes. And to yeah. me, that's a life fully lived mm -hmm. in many ways. Yeah, and again, right. she banged a bunch of dudes and ladies so well, we, need, Anna, we, we need to see how hot they were first before we can i mean you know uh, before we can truly judge if it, her life was worth living she, she has she, she probably <laughs> had that had that problem which hot people sometimes have where like you wake up with the 10 yeah but you are the 10 so so you don't you, you're like yeah this is such a relatable problem for I know. Us. Yeah. <laughs> I can't speak it's so on weird. that. As somebody who I has feel like I'm looking a in a mirror when I see this. Mm, yeah, that's, yeah, I masturbate next to a mirror every morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... Um, mirror, mirror, let's come together all. Wow. <laughs> no, sorry. Yes. That's how it goes. Yeah, we're going to keep Again, that, that was in. like the right... Uh, that was a really so good so one. No, this that was, was good. That is really good. That actually. is fascinating. Yeah. The, extremely filmable. How this is not like a, like a major movie. movie. I know. Let me make a phone call. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Please. Fucking HBO. Get on it. I'm serious. Hello, yeah. HBO? Yeah. It's Joy. <laughs> <laughs> I got something for you. Oh, wait. You. Okay. Yeah, let me call. I got something for you, but let me call you back because we're just finishing up here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> so, hello, Steven Spielberg. <laughs> hey, Steve. I mean, he is also has Austrian roots because true, Spielberg true. is a town. That his family is that comes so? from. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, he could direct something like this. Yeah. Actually, yeah, we could just, and there's oh, aliens. Yeah. There's aliens in it, so it's oh, perfect, true. right? Well, I mean, are there aliens? It's just her. She's an alien. She's, Allegorically, right? She's the alien. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I don't think that she was really that weird, though. If I'm being completely honest, like we say, we, we see her saying that she was a very weird person. No, like, this is. I think mostly... she just did a lot of drugs, and that's not that. She wasn't even. Like, like out of the ordinary and, but apparently somebody who could handle it pretty well because yes, it no, took no, no, until yeah. meth like yeah. 60s meth 
yeah. to really fuck her up. Yeah. Like before that, she's probably still partying. And that's probably why she got yeah. all that stuff done. She got yeah. a lot done because yeah. she was on a lot she of uppers. Did yeah. her fucking well. I mean, yeah, she could handle that shit. She maybe is an alien, actually. <laughs> she's like her chemistry. She is literally built different. <laughs> <laughs> she's likely an alien. Yeah. yeah, that's what the plastic surgery is for because she actually wouldn't have aged. She's and like, she's like, I need to fuck myself up to make my look old. The, yes. the skin, the skin is peeling off. I need the like the paint. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same death becomes her. That's what I'm thinking. Ah, about. okay, yeah, but, right. uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I just oh. this is great. This, I mean, again, this is and I, and for somebody to come out of Vienna, you know, and have such an illustrious career and have such personality. It's it's again to come out of Christoph Waltz did the same thing, but just without the Nazis. <laughs> he what? just played a Nazi. Yeah. <laughs> But he, he hasn't invented Bluetooth yet. That is true. That is true. Oh my God! If, if, if Christoph is like, all right, I have an Oscar. I have two. Uh, What's next? Yeah. Was ist als nächstes? Yeah. Ja. <laughs> was kommt als nächstes? Uh, I, I I just sort of I was gonna say something mm. about I, it is sort of like I can't tell what is more sad if I'm being completely honest about when it comes to like old Hollywood women because she came from such privilege and yeah. I think a very very common story like we can go back to Joan Crawford for a sec she came from nothing mm. like we loved rags to riches stories in the US mm -hmm. and we still do love a good Cinderella story this is not that and that's what I kind of think is so sad about this is that she came from such privilege and then she died in Florida <laughs> <laughs> well Americans love that too they I'm love sure. the British they love to take see people fall oh, yeah, yeah. yeah we do but it's also like did she deserve to fall I kind of don't think so even oh no 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 I mean that the, that she was again Metro Goldwyn Maya fucking yeah ran her ragged and then just discarded her like yeah. that is that is the the, the really uh, luckily yeah. that doesn't exist anymore like in this yeah. like I mean, codified structure anymore yeah. where, where you could exploit an actor like this anymore. It, like that yeah. doesn't, not in this same way. The not in the same is, way. No, no, not in this same no, way. No, they have to be quiet about it. Yeah, though. exactly. Yes. Yeah, you can't just have fucking a third of the studio, sh the, the, the no, all they only of do that HBO to the show up, the, the just the O shows up from HBO and is like, yeah. all right, lady, you know, the I'm only, gonna pay, I'm gonna pay you, see, you know, like you can't, oh, the only, you're gonna love it, you know. The, like, the only the only place you're allowed to do that now in Hollywood is uh, Disney Channel. <laughs> 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 They're the only, I mean, they kept all the vintage sitcom stuff. That's what all of like right, Gen yes. Z is raised on. Right. It's basically the same Hollywood system for mm. kids. No, but I mean, <laughs> No, but uh, this is a very interesting story. Thank you so much. Yeah, for yeah your, thank you so much. Yeah, this was were, incredible. Yeah, As always, it. you were hilarious and you were great. Yes, so thank, thank you, you so being much. Here as a guest, you know? <laughs> no, we, right. we, 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 we don't know much, too much about you, you know. Yes, but yeah. we, we took you. a little chance on you. That was so nice. Yeah. Yeah. Thank just you. Like Thanks Hedy, for having just me. Like Hedy, you brought you good. You knocked it out of the park. Ah, you brought good vibes, man. Yeah. You know, after this, I'm gonna go invent some stuff. Yeah, Maybe get married. And then to someone. By a man. I'm yeah. gonna get married for the fourth time, even though I've never been married. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna tell I'm them speed before. running at the I'm Hedy speed running. Is, I wanna experience. have a divorce party, a sixth divorce, have a divorce party. party. Uh -huh. Despite and, having no marriages. And I hope I get some free meth or speed. Or I still I want that chalet that. in Aspen. That chalet in Aspen sounds good. <laughs> yeah, so what the gonna fuck look happened up? to that chalet? I wanna know. Yeah, we'll, we'll look it up after the show. Uh, again, uh, Ben's paper is in the description below. The, uh, the, the sources are down there as well, guys. Hi, so, <laughs> so if you there she is, come in. <laughs> come in. So if you uh, want to follow us, you can Cleaning. follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Yeah, uh, it'll all be in the description. Yes, it'll all go be there. go Her to our Patreon, give us money, please, so we can pay our. Uh, researcher a uh, uh, living they're very the nice people definitely yes. patreon yes, yes. and uh, obviously joy jo joy us uh, checks uh, check out Joyce. joy yes. goring goring yes. goring G where, where can people find you uh, on my instagram no, joy right. g o 
H R I N G. It's all in the description yeah. below of this we'll video. Sure the they will find you. And uh, obviously, your stuff is also yeah. all in the description. You guys know me. I'm boring. That's why we got. We, we bring some interesting people from out of town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. We're going to use you for war bond selling here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Patreon war bonds? Patreon oh, war bonds. That's a great idea. That would be amazing. That is war bonds. You, you have Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Aruga! 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 His war bonds make me go horny, baby. Uh, all right. <laughs> oh my god. All right, thank y'all for thank watching. Thank you for watching, for and we'll see each other the next episode that's coming out in two weeks. Yeah. Awesome. Bye. Thanks, thanks guys. Bye. Bye.